Did you did you get free lunch? No, you had to actually pay like like you you it wasn't even like it wasn't like a, a, a lunch plan. You had to like pay bread for lunch. Oh no, I'm saying that because I remember if you got free lunch, I think that means your parents didn't make enough money or something yeah, like that. That's how it was in, in uh like my middle school. If you had free lunch, that means you was broke for real. Yeah. So <laughs> fuck y'all because I used to flex that free lunch. Yeah, broke yeah, as fuck. Yeah. Pay that every, shit every, full price. If you have, if you if you had free lunch, you was broke. You broke like, ass. You, you, you all, called you, me broke. <laughs> fuck you talking about? You was all, you was all welfare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said welfare. Yeah, Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 71, and I'm your host, DWK Darris, and I got my other co-host with me, Corey. Corey, say what's good to the peoples. Hi, I'm Corey. That <laughs> 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 nah, was a good job. I know, the favorite member's back. I know, it's been a minute, right? you a favorite? What you mean, it's been a minute? <laughs> this nigga lives like 30 minutes away. Yeah. You know. In Bubblefuck. It'd be like in that. a white neighborhood. No, you're, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. Because <laughs> when he picked me up, right, it was black people there. When you go farther, you live in white a, people. <laughs> you, you live in a part of a white neighbor, a white town. You live in the black part of the white. Yeah, town. Yeah. Okay. I live in the black part of a white town. But my town is all black. <laughs> Union. Yo, it's mad houses in Union. What's that? You don't have. A, you don't have a. You don't have a <laughs> black part of Union. Yes, there is. No, it's not. You don't have public houses in Union. You ever been to Vauxhall? That's There's not public. Union. It's Vauxhall. No, that's the same thing. It's Vauxhall though. It's They're not Union. Gay. The, the people who say Vauxhall and Union is not the same thing is freaking weirdo. But I'm just no, but if you look on the map, it says Vox Hall. It doesn't say Union. If you look in, in, on the map, it's still I mean it's still in Englewood. <laughs> no, <laughs> if you live in Vox no. Hall, your address says Vox Hall, not Union. No. My address says Englewood. It does not just say Vox it's, it it's does? cool. It's, it, yeah, it's you know says, people from Vox Hall? Who you know from Vox Hall? No, I just see it on the map when you can see it. Like it, just, <laughs> it says Vox Hall. Like it's an area though. Yeah, that's but, claimed by Union. Yeah, but it's Vox Hall though. It's not Union. Like if you live in Vox Hall, it says Vox Hall, not Union. You're not even from Vox Hall. How the fuck you? Know? I'm from Inglewood. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But follow our socials down in the description. All that stuff. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars Podcast. Follow us on all ain't? podcasting platforms. What? Still ain't do that. They, they, they starting to a little bit. Oh, all right. So I don't got to threaten to kill nobody today. You could at the end. All right, I'm gonna do it at the end. All Just right. let you know. Just let y'all know. All right, I will. We had, we had a thousand followers on Instagram. I peeped that. Shit jump. Yeah. Because I think one video had almost like half a million. For real? On TikTok? No, on Instagram. On Instagram got half a million? Yeah. That's tough. Almost, I think it's like 475,000. That's tough. That's tough. It was That's the tough. the question was, would you rather, it's like, so for, I think it was like a billion dollars. Uh-huh. Like, would you accept a billion dollars, but every, every month, once a month for the rest of your life, 10 random people will jump you? I think I'll do that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But how, but how long? For the rest of your life. But how long? Like how long is the jumping? Like uh, ten seconds. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I get my ass whipped for ten seconds. That's what I'm saying. But niggas are saying like, oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prepare for it. I'm gonna like, and this nigga Chris is talking about. He going, he going, he going to train for that shit. Like Bruce Lee. No, that's cool. I just get jumped. Are you just gonna get your ass beat? What yeah. if you like in your sixties? But like, think about it, it's random niggas. If I'm in my sixties at this point, I'm a billionaire. I gotta have some security with me. I know, but what if the security guys turn on you? Man, that's, that's tough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas are talking about they gonna have guns. I'm, and guess shit. what? I'm not worried about till I'm sixty. I'm worried till I'm, I'm worried about right now. I need that money now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I need that money now, though. I ain't gonna lie. I would do that shit. I don't care what the fuck the circumstances. I feel are. like for ten seconds you could protect yourself long enough for ten seconds. That's what I'm saying. But then niggas are saying, what if it was 15 minutes? Nah, that's D. That's D. That's D. That's D. That's D. <laughs> 15 minutes you, is D. That's enough time to get really like hurt. <laughs> 10 <laughs> seconds is enough time you could be like, <laughs> oh, what? Niggas, do you feel me? <laughs> you, realistically, you'll be going to get beat up for five seconds. Cause it takes it takes a good six seconds to be like, oh, hold on. You're about to square up. You feel me? You got experience, huh? Gotcha. I mean, I got jumped before. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga Corey got jumped because you were talking shit. I mean, I was hooping, bro. <laughs> Nigga Corey got I, I was hooping, bro. Like a bunch of grown men. I was, yeah, I was hooping. I don't give a fuck. It was worth it. Hey, bro, you still here right now. That's all that matters. I was here because I ran. Nigga said, yo, where my gun at? I was at. Nah, where my gun at is crazy. I was like, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> this shit, this shit kind of bad as fuck. I'm sorry, people. I ripped his polo coat. I'll never forget that. You ripped he had, the polo coat? He had an orange polo coat. I ripped that shit. Nigga said, you ripped my polo coat? Damn. Kicked me in the face with his Tim. Nah, kicked in the face with a, in the, with a Tim, Tim, bro. Tim is crazy, And he bro. was like, yo, where my gun at? Fuck this, <laughs> fuck this fight and shit. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, nah, I'm out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this fight and shit. Is I'm insane, out, bro. bro. 
I was, yo, a, a lady saved my. I don't know if I told this on the pod before. A lady saved my life. They was like, "Stop it!" They all turned around, like to see who said stop. When they turned back around to beat me up, I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Fuck that, bro." That's funny as hell, bro. But oh, I got a, I got a story I want to tell you. This happened to me like a like on on Thursday, bro. I found a stray dog. I seen it on your on one of your stories. Yeah, bro. I freaking bro. So this is what happened, right? So I was um. <laughs> I was driving back home from J Crib, mm-hmm. so I was driving by Week Wake, and there's a br- you know that bridge. There's like a little I don't know if you peeped it. There's like on the on 22 on by Week Wake. There's like a little bridge, mm-hmm. and he was she was walking on the side of the road, like on like the little like the yield like the little on over the past the, like on the other side of the white line. Yeah, she was walking. I seen. I'm like, oh shit! So I pulled over like mad like like a little further up, and then I ran and like mid as soon as I'm running, I'm like, yo, am I really doing this shit? So like I'm running. And then I like tap her on the button, like she jumped. Mm-hmm. I'm like, here, come here. And then she comes to me, I pick her up and I bring her to Jay's crib. And then we we wash her and shit like that. And then we came back to my crib and then she slept here. She'd been to like freaking eight cribs. I'm saying, where the dog at now? She's with Jason right now. What? So that just passing the dog around? Because, because, <laughs> because my mom doesn't really like dogs like that, but she uh-huh. kind of likes her because she's, because she's not that, like, she's not, she don't bark. Yeah. She don't. Like she, I think she has a stomach problem because like she has like bad diarrhea. So uh-huh. I think she probably been eating like rocks and shit. Yeah. Um. She really bark too much. I seen the first time I heard her speak was when I left her left in the left the room and left her in the room and she was like like yelping. Uh huh. But I never heard her like like actually bark. Like dogs would go by her, she won't bark at them. She'll hear dogs bark, she won't bark at the dogs. I think she's like traumatized. So who's next? Who's gonna get the dog next? I don't know. I think it might be be us, Jay. Back. Yeah. Cause J- Jason just Jason just called me on the way to pick you up. He was like his grandmother. His grandparents was like, "Oh, we're gonna put her in a in an orphanage tomorrow." I said, "Orphanage?" Oh no! Nah. So you don't know you know what that means. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so <laughs> bye bye dog. <laughs> so the next candidate is possibly UJ's mother wants a dog. UJ's mom is the candidate <laughs> because UJ's mom UJ said his mom wanted a quiet dog that don't bark. Uh huh. And she's not bad. She's like, I don't know how old she is. So she probably she's kind of old. Like so she knows like like certain shit but like she don't really listen too well because i yeah. guess like she don't know who the fuck these people are yeah and it's like she she's probably like five like she's like either in the middle or like pretty old like she's not a puppy uh-huh so like i think we might either with uj my cousin is trying to convince his mother and shit like that to do a, to um keep her and stuff like that because she the same thing with my mom because it's her sister she don't really like dogs like that either yeah so we're trying she's trying to he's trying to convince her and then last resort is chris's dad so we'll see. You want a dog, bro? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All nope. right. All right, no, bro. Bishop going for the Bishop that going that, y'all better off going to the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't gotta put the mic that close. Oh. I mean it's kinda of, just feels right. Oh, you straight like that? Yeah. I just making sure because I'm just making sure that shit's not too loud for you people. Oh no, I back up if it's too loud. Now you go, you go, you go. I, mean, I don't talk that loud as it is. Yeah, now nah, you straight, you straight. But yeah, I found a straight dog, bro. I named her Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. You don't even know if it's a girl? A it's boy. a girl, it's a girl. Oh, that's a boy's name. No, it's not. It could be a girl's name. Matrix. Matrix. That's like a that's like an in-between type of name. Nah, that's tough. Like we cut we was trying mad names. She don't we don't know. And we was trying to see like after so Does she respond to Matrix now? No, nah, not yet. Oh. We just I gave her that name like yesterday. Oh. So like we me and nah. Jay tried to find her owners on Friday and we was walking around the where we thought like Cause she was she was probably been on the highway for like a minute. I think somebody like literally just left her there. Uh huh. So because I thought we thought she like escaped the crib, yeah. but I think somebody just like pulled up on the side and just like dropped the dog off like here, like maybe a couple of days ago. Cause she was mad dirty. But then we went, so we was walking around hillside by the, like the highway and stuff like that, the mm-hmm. houses, and nobody like ever seen this dog before. That's crazy. Yeah. So I'm like, damn. If y'all want a dog, hit me up. If y'all live in the New Jersey area. And if you're a good dog owner, but if you're not, don't don't hit me up, bro. You already know all, all the bad dog owners gonna be like, yeah, I want a dog. That's what I'm saying, niggas. I never had dogs mm-hmm. before, so we're gonna see how long Jason could could hold out and shit like that. Cause he just he just literally called me as I was picking you up. I was like, damn, what am I gonna do now? So she yeah. might stay at my crib for like a day. I don't know. She might stay at Jay's crib. <laughs> I tried passing the dog around. I feel so bad, bro. She, she's she gonna be hella confused I know <laughs> Like who's my owner <laughs> I feel so bad bro <clears throat> Like she really just don't know What the fuck going on Yeah She's free. seen like 20 niggas In like 7 houses In the last 3 days Free her yo Free <laughs> free Matrix Free Matrix bro Free free Matrix in the com- Free Matrix in the comments bro But 
Oh, I want to talk about the NBA because I haven't talked about basketball in a minute, bro. The, this stretch of basketball we've seen in, seen is like the yo, peak of NBA right now. Yo, it, and this month, this month alone, it's been like 12, 50 point games. Or That's something, crazy. something crazy like that, or like forty point or forty plus games. Like it's been like OD, bro. Like this nigga Donovan had like seventy one. Luca had like sixty point triple double. All right, you don't have to talk about Lucas. Why? Oh, okay, I know. It's on, it's, on the, it's on the Knicks. It's on the Knicks. <laughs> it's on the Knicks. <laughs> nah, that was a great game, though. It was, but like, what the fuck? Who couldn't? Why didn't the nigga didn't grab the rebound? It, if it was me, even the Donovan Mitchell, like you seen how he got, he, how he sent it to overtime. Like, yo, hold on, how you don't get that rebound, bro? I know, right? It, whoa, wasn't the same shit. Yeah, he he, he literally missed his own free throw and then got it and laid it back up for to go to OT. What the fuck? That's weird. Now nah, going for seventy one is crazy. I know, right? Seventy one. <laughs> That's OD, and he's only missed ten shots. That's hella efficient. What was his, what was he like? Twenty for thirty. Twenty three for thirty four. Or, 20, or no, twenty three for thirty three. Mm. Hella efficient. How many free throws was it? Uh, I know he missed five. Damn, so, so we would have 75 on them. Yeah. Shit. I be thinking about that, bro. It's like Dante's calling me. <laughs> Wait, answer the phone. Answer the phone. <laughs> Let's see what he says. What's good, Flex, man? Look good. It's like a game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am. Yo, what's good, Muddy? <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you not putting me on the show. Oh, <laughs> he took the opportunity. <laughs> he just took the opportunity to be on the podcast. Hey, fucking yo, bro. Podcast, let's put him on. Let's put him on. The, on this, put him on camera. Hold on, I did that the wrong way. Yo, you <laughs> <laughs> guys, glasses on. As for he seen he seen me reposted, it took his just took his opportunity to call. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he called. Hey yo, bro. Yeah, that his audition. He passed. I don't know. Nah, he said I don't know. You not <laughs> you not valid, bro. You, <laughs> he said I don't know, bro. We hit the because I don't know. That mean you not you not valid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga playing FIFA, bro. You ass. Nigga still play FIFA. That shit about to end soon. <laughs> they might not. They might not make no more FIFAs, bro. I mean, I, yeah, they're done with the name FIFA, but it'll still be. It'll still be. Oh, it'll still be a soccer game. It, it, it'll be like off brand FIFA, pretty much. <laughs> like, like that's like <laughs> NBA Two K goes mean, down. Like, I, no, that's like uh, uh, NBA Playground. <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty much, it's what it'll be all right, bro. I'll talk to you after, bro. You trying to take you trying you trying you trying to be on the podcast right now, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm out here. <laughs> nigga, nigga, think he low. He trying to be on the podcast right now. <laughs> nigga, say phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> phone a friend is crazy. But but yeah, bro. The NBA's been pretty good recently. I like seeing nigga at least. How many people is in the MVP race? You know who's the niggas? Oh, I know uh, Z- Zion was climbing the ranks and then he got hurt again. Yeah, you. I told you gonna keep getting hurt, bro. I'm still. Zion. I'm still alive, bro. Um, obviously Luca, Giannis. Um, who else is in it? I seen Jimmy Butler and they used this freaking 2K. Oh. His, they they used, did though. <laughs> they, they used did, this uh, 2K picture. Cause uh, I don't see how Jimmy Butler's in it though. I mean, I, don't, I, can't, I haven't been paying attention to the heat. He might be balling, but I haven't been paying. I heard attention the heat to was the heat. ass. So I don't know. Oh, they, are, they are bad, bro. Are they really? Yeah, they're bad, bro. Damn. What else? What else been going on? Freaking, I seen some shit the other day about the sports. They said that shit's getting like uh, a lot of the sports shits is rigged, bro. Like games. Like in general, like sports in general is just rigged. Just I mean, first. I, I believe it. You think so? I like, believe it. Like they was talking. Like I remember I was watching this video. Like some former NFL player said that in his contract, they said like you're not supposed to speak about like scripted NFL shits, but like the NFL is like low key rigged. I believe it. Like um. I remember, I forgot what Super Bowl it was. It was a Super Bowl. It was the Probably Tom Brady's when he came. Oh, back. yo, low key. That I can see that one with all the fucking rings, bro. Ain't no way he's supposed to come back from that game. <laughs> Freaking! I remember there was there was a Super Bowl when it was like the Ravens and somebody else. I think it was the Ravens and the Forty ers or something like that. I can't remember. And like I think the Ravens was winning, but it was like a boring ass game because uh-huh. it was blowing them out. And it was going to the fourth quarter, and then the light shut off. It was recently too. It was I remember like, that game. Yeah, yeah. So like the light shut off, and mm-hmm. like for like for no reason, for some random shit, and then automatically them niggas just start coming back and start mm-hmm. being the game. And niggas start watching that shit again. So niggas was like, "Yo, why the fuck they did that shit?" And then but then the Baltimore still won the game. Yeah. But then I was also seeing like about the NBA, how the NBA might be rigged, mm-hmm. and like you know the draft and shit, right? Yeah. Like especially like the first NBA draft 
when Patrick Ewan was picked yeah, by the Knicks. Yeah, and then they got the the, uh, the the David Stern bit the envelope and picked mm-hmm. the envelope up. Yeah. Either bent it or they said it was frozen. Mm-hmm. So, so like, he picked the cold one? He picked the coldest one last because they said since it was the first year, they wanted the best player to go to the, the biggest best, market. Yeah, biggest market, uh-huh. And at the time, it was the Knicks. Uh-huh. So it was like, you know, if we bring Patrick Ewing into the Knicks, then it's like a lot of people are going to come watch basketball now, yeah. watch the NBA. And then I heard recently, like, the 2011 dunk contest, that shit was rigged, bro. Who was in the 2011 dunk contest? That's when Blake Griffin won that shit. Yeah, it was, I mean, he he, he didn't really win that. Like, freaking, they said that there was a memo that was, that was, like, posted on, like, by the NBA of, like, uh, the schedule of the whole, like, weekend. Mm -hmm. And on the thing, it says 2011 uh, NBA dunk contest winner Blake Griffin. I mean, they could also just made that mistake because, like, who else was going to win that? I mean, Demar Derozan was probably doing was doing wasn't doing that bad. I mean, yeah, but they probably would, like just assumed Blake was gonna win. But like this nigga Blake tried to jump over the car like what like six times. He did, and then he jumped. He didn't even jump over the car. He jumped over the the, the, the hood of the car. She was ass. And then <laughs> as soon as he won, that's when the Kia commercials with Blake Griffin came out. Oh, so it probably was like plotting on having him win. Yeah, because it's like, and then that's when you see Kia all over freaking mm-hmm. the NBA, like with the um, TNT, like the, that shit. Isn't that shit sponsored by Kia? Mm-hmm. So it's like. What if Kia like gave them niggas like some bread? Like, all right, you know what? If he wins, especially with the Kia car, I remember Bri- yeah. uh, Blake Griffin was saying like he didn't even want to jump over that shit. He want to jump over a convertible. Uh huh. But he was like, nah, jump over a Kia car. And then as soon as he won, oh, he wins the dunk contest. And now Blake Griffin, the commercials start coming out. And it's like the niggas been made them shits, and that's, it was the first time. That's the same thing with uh, well, not the the dunk contest, but when draft when Shaq got drafted because Orlando was new. Yeah. They, they, they took. Yeah, they bring Shaq over there. Oh, really? Because it was new? That was their yeah. first year? That was like their first, like, maybe three or four. Damn. I didn't even, I didn't know about that one. Yeah, like, Sha- Shaq being drafted to Orlando is because Orlando was new. Mm. I mean, Orlando is one of the new teams. I wish they would have done that to fucking the Grizzlies, bro. Nobody, <laughs> the Grizzlies was asked for a man. Vancouver Grizzlies. I mean, that's why they had to go to Memphis. Memphis? But the Grizzlies been, like, like low-key competing since, like, 2006, though. 2006. Who was on that team in 2006? Paul, Paul Gasol. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then after that, then it was like the Mark Gasol, uh, I mean, grind. But that was like in 20 what 12? 2012, yeah. 2K11. But I don't know. I think some. I feel because like, and a lot of people say this is just, it's all just entertainment at the end of the day. It is. That's why we. Why you didn't get paid so much? Yeah. yeah so all, it's, it's it's all made to entertain. Like even if it's. Supposed to be staged like like when I went to Wildin' Out, bro. Yeah, I was so like mad leaving Wildin' Out because thought, of how staged it was. I thought, yeah, I thought it was literally like off the top of the head jokes. Like me you know too I mean? for a and minute. Then I went and I'm like, like they they was like, now nah, yo run that back. Yo, y'all didn't laugh loud enough. Can y'all laugh louder? I'm like, what? they did that. Yeah, for one of Justine, no, for Ti's joke. If you watch my episode, well, not my episode, the episode that I went to. Were you on TV in that episode? I mean, I was with like five seconds. For like, <laughs> me on the camera, they, they they knew they knew a star was in the crowd. <laughs> but if you watch the episode, right, that when Ti made the the joke that he was like, mm-hmm, aha, mm-hmm, feel me? Nobody yeah. laughed, but that shit was ass, but nobody laughed. At so it. he said, cut so, it. No, so they they was like, yo, like, Ti, do it again. Can y'all like y'all can laugh like make, like laugh louder this time? And we was like, I was like, I mean, we all laughed, but it was ass the first time. Really? And then Justina you... Valentine, when she did her freestyle, she did that shit over like four times, bro. Like, if you re- like if you look at me in the crowd, bro, niggas went for like, niggas was just like, because like, I heard it five times already. She kept repeating it like, oh, oh that, I messed up. Let me go again. I messed up. Let's go again. So after a while, I was like, all right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> like, are you like, get it out, bro? Like, yeah. I didn't even know it's that. It's that stage. It's, it was, it was, it was bad, bro. Do you think it was staged like in the beginning of Wild Now when they first came out, or it's always been staged? Or man, I I'm, mean, do you think it wasn't staged in the beginning of Wild Now? I'm pretty sure because I know it's some live shows. So yeah, like comedy shows. No, I'm saying like even like some of them, like some of them are live though. Like they 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 recorded live. Yeah, I can believe that. So. Even if it's not, I think it's always rehearsed. Like it's not off the top of the head jokes that we thought it was always like. I can like, see that. I can see that. Like, feel me? You, it, 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 even if it wasn't like rehearsed. I mean, even if it wasn't like like, all right, let's do this over, like laugh louder. It was rehearsed in the back, like I right, this, like let's hit our notes or feel me. That's what I thought it was, like the newer versions. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know like they stop it. No, and- no, like literally, Justina's Valentine's freestyle. I, we heard that shit like. Like, all right, bro, like, she messed up, went again, messed up, went again. What? So now she's like, okay, Brooklyn, okay, okay. And we was like, all right, bro, like. That's weird. Like, come on, like, like get, it, get it out now, miss. Damn. And then, and then like I said, with T.I., he said the joke the first time, nobody laughed. Like, and he was just like, 
And then he did it. They was like, yo, can y'all laugh? Like, T.I., do this over. Can y'all laugh? Can y'all laugh louder this time? That's weird as hell. So he was like, all right, this is. Do you think a lot of shows is like that? Yeah. Do you think Impractical Jokers is like that? Maybe not, because their whole thing is getting random people. Yeah. But do you think. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, eventually over time, right? Don't you think. That yeah, I, you, I know you're from Impractical Jokers. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you think they'll get like that, or they'll probably, like, have fake people in there? I don't know, cause sometimes if you watch a couple episodes, like couple, a couple, like sometimes you would be watching it and they'd be like, "I know you from uh," and they and they and they like they like cut it out. Oh really? So I, I think I think like shows like maybe maybe some of it is staged, cause some of it's like, ah, you ain't doing all that, bro. That's you know what I'm saying. Mean? But like I think some, most for most part like a show like that, cause that's based off of somebody's reaction. That's like a YouTube prank. I mean, mm-hmm. I think a lot of them YouTube pranks be fake anyway. Bro, YouTube be fake as hell nowadays. Yeah, so I don't know. That's probably not the best example, but like. Cause I be Cause I remember in the beginning They used to go to Jersey Gardens a lot Cause they from Staten Island Uh huh yeah They used to go They be all over Jersey So And but like I feel like if you Cause we're in an area Where there's so many people That mm-hmm. there's not a lot of people Might not know you in the beginning Yeah But then as you start progressing like Especially how they got I'm like, gonna say It's no way they record now And people don't know who they are bro. Do they, are they still even recording? I know one it's of them only One of them So now what they do now Is they have a it's the spill of four spot is like a guest celebrity, so like maybe like Mark Wahlberg would be the the fourth person or something. How the like fuck that. is that gonna work? <laughs> like what? <coughs> you told me nobody's gonna recognize Mark that's Wahlberg. What I'm saying, <laughs> that, that's how they do it now. Wow, I didn't even know that. Even like if you watch, you ever you ever watch what what would you do on like YouTube? Like John Quinones, what would you do? I heard the name before. That's that, that be in Jersey too. Like I'm saying, like like they do the uh like fake scenarios. Oh, what a transgender kid mom. Uh, belittles her for being transgender in front of the dinner table or something like that. Looking at strangers' reactions, they do that in Jersey too. Really? A lot of them show a lot of the episodes being in Jersey. If you watch a lot of episodes, you look in the background. Like, so I mean that on. shit on YouTube. You still watch mm-hmm. it? All right, yeah, I need, I need to see. You look that in shit. the back. You be like, hold on, that's that's Miller Ales. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Miller Ales by uh, yeah. Twenty Five Fifty. Uh huh. Like, hold on, <laughs> they be over there. Uh, that's a couple episodes. I'm like, hold on, that's. It's Miller Ales, bro. What you be? <laughs> John Keyon, this is that Miller Ales, bro. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Freaking! I remember when I went to when I went to uh, Cali with uh, with uh, UJ and them. Uh-huh. We went to Melrose, and there's a sneaker shop that be on YouTube where you know where they be like that guy comes in and he brings like a celebrity like oh yo buy some kicks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we went to one of those shoe st- shoe uh, shoe stores. I forgot what it was called, and I think like 20 minutes before we got there, Tory Lanez was there. Uh huh. But then when we was in there, we were shopping, and then they was doing a skit. I'm like, what the fuck, like. He was like, everybody move, everybody move. I'm like, what the fuck going on? It was me and Chi Chi was in there because I was uh-huh. buying some dunks. And he was like, everybody move out there. Somebody pushing me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck going on? And I'm like, they, they came in like hazmat suits. So I'm yeah. like, yo, is, is niggas getting <laughs> like, what uh-huh. the fuck going on? This during- I'm like, yo, is niggas good? But they was doing like a whole like YouTube skit. I'm like, yeah. oh shit, there's cameras in here. And I'm like, I went on the YouTube page. It was, um, I think it wasn't complex. It was one of those sneaker YouTube channels, like the big ones where they like, they was doing like a skit for like a new like Air Max shoe that was like called that had to do with like Venom like there was like snake venom in it or something uh-huh. shit like that and they was like playing along with it but I'm like and I seen the nigga before on somewhere I think he was like famous on TikTok but I never yeah. I didn't realize it until like after so I'm like dang these niggas really just be doing this shit randomly so that's when that's probably a time where they could be like not the only YouTuber I think that his videos is like legit or like somewhat legit is Mr. Beast. Mm-hmm. I think his is like legit. Like he, be, like all his shit, like is like real reactions. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, they giving him, getting him like millions of dollars. Yeah, so I'm saying. I think, I think, I think that's the only like legit like, YouTuber, Mr. Beast. Like even DDG and like Dashe and all them niggas, they be faking that. Yeah, shit. That's what I'm saying. A lot of those be like stage too. Yeah, like 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 you yeah, like I remember you seen that shit with DDG and I guess his sister's boyfriend or something like that. I think, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, and like I guess he was on like a date or some shit, mm-hmm. and like she walked in like all mad and shit. Yeah. But like I seen him like at a family Christmas party, like he was still there. Uh huh. So I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, that nigga's faking yeah, this so shit. Lot, like, even with the like uh the little wop wop, a woo a woo wop. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's, it's a little wop wop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pause. Woo wop. Woo wop. Yeah, like you feel me. Like, at first, like they, 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 wasn't they jacking? Like that's how he really was acting. But like, yeah, but he don't really act like yeah, that. Yeah, he's a regular kid, bro. He did it for a skit. So his acting going to YouTube because YouTube was never like this. I mean, I, I guess you gotta go with the times, bro. Are so, we acting right now? I mean, I, I am. Ain't <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> hey yo, but nah, I've been seeing a lot of shit like that, bro. And I, oh, I was I seen some shit about, you know you know Dido Didi Osama the the nigga from the Bronx the hood rapper nigga. I think I know the name. I don't. I can't. He's tell like he's young as hell. He's like sixteen. I know the name. I like can't his, tell you what he looked like. Uh, he, honestly, he looked like you. 
Oh. No, no, like he got the he got the braids, light skin. Uh-huh. If you see him, you know he's look like. So he's sixteen, right? And you know how YouTubers they be doing like the little smash or pass shits. Yeah. So he was on there with the, one of the YouTubers from the Bronx, and he's like mad famous. So he had a bunch of girls. Yeah. And a lot of the girls was over like like our age and uh-huh. like older, and they like and they're like freaking twerking on the kid, twerking on him and his friends. They're both 15, 16. Yeah. And then I remember one girl was they was like cr- criticizing them because like they're minors. Hmm. And it was like if it was a if it was a girl with a bunch of niggas, yeah. it would be a different story. Uh-huh. And then one of the girls went on live said she's like, "Man, who cares if I if I'm feeling him? He's sixteen. I'm pushing thirty. What's that supposed to mean?" I think I did see that. Like, is that is that not crazy? That's ridiculous. But like you said, like a society, like is that like <laughs> like niggas is crucified? R- we used to talk about R. Kelly. Niggas crucify R. Kelly. But if they say free R. Kelly, free, oh, you say free? <laughs> I, I say free R. Kelly. <laughs> like that. I, still, I still listen to that nigga. <laughs> that nigga. Robert did that shit, not R. Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly didn't do that shit. Robert did that shit. That shit is not good. But I'm just saying, like you saying it was a part three out too. Surviving R. Kelly part three. I didn't even know it was a part two. What you? Wait, I didn't know there's a part one. What the fuck are you talking about? You talking about when the, the shit, series, the, the the series Surviving R. Kelly. I ain't, I ain't even heard that oh, shit. It's a part three. Out like, a, like a show or the, it's, it's like, like a, album? It's like a, it's like, no, it's a series, like a show, like surviving R. Kelly, like trying to expose how much of a monster he was. <laughs> Yo, That's what made him go to jail the first time. But that once the show came out, I think the show oh. came out and then it was like, all right, let's, let's, let's pack him up. Oh. It's, it's two more parts out. I didn't know it was, it, I didn't know it was. Are you going to watch, uh, was it on YouTube? I didn't even watch the first one. So I'm not watching this. What the uh, It's on like, I don't know what's going on. I'm not Nigga, they should make some shit with the women, bro. Because think about it, the nigga's 16. If he was, if it was the other way around, bro. Yeah, we get crucified. It's something else I seen online too, and I was like, I can't even remember it. But they was like, "Yo, if it was a girl, if it was a guy, though, it'd have been, it'd have been." Oh, the it was a picture of a little boy. It was mm-hmm. on Twitter, a picture of a little boy, right? And all the girls were talking about, "Oh, he could get it. He's a baby. He could get it. He could get it. That, that boy's handsome. He could get it." What? It was like, yo, that was a. If there was a little girl, there was a man. People would go crazy. Over Niggas people. would go crazy. Mm-hmm. All that, all the words. I can't even say the word on here. All that shit, yeah. bro. Like. Like where does it draw the line? Like why is this woman like dude? Like why is this a thing? Shit crazy. Like imagine, bro. But like it's like niggas praise that shit. I know. It's like it's like niggas would be t- niggas be saying like, oh, I've been I had sex when I was nine. I'm like, what? Who? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Niggas be lying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be lying, bro. People be like, yeah, I lost my virginity in fifth grade. I'd be like, <laughs> all right, bro. Yeah, I've been fucking since I was twelve. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. How, bro? Like how? Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. You're lying, bro. You like, <laughs> they be saying like, yeah, was, I remember this one thing. He said, yeah, I was nine years old, bro. It was me and my cousin. We ran a trail on this one bit. I said, what What grown woman with a nine-year-old? What? He's lying, bro. Think about your private parts when you was nine, bro. That's what I'm saying. You're lying, bro. You didn't even bro. know what that shit was for real. You're lying, bro. <laughs> you didn't have balls yet, bro. You're lying, bro. Yeah, I don't know, I bro. used to hear that all the time when I was, in, especially like in high school. But yeah, bro, I lost my shit when I was nine, bro. I was eight years old when I lost my virginity. I'd be like. All right, when niggas gel, did niggas like think about like how bad that is, how, how bad that sounds? Like, and that just makes me want to go look for the person like who did that shit. Like you nigga, she a pedophile. I, that made me just look at you like, bro, like don't tell me nothing else. Every anything else that come out your mouth for that one, I don't believe you, bro. Cause now you're lying, bro. I remember the same nigga told me he got an offer for football from St. John's. St. John's don't have a football team, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I said, but like at the time I didn't know. Uh-huh. So I'm like, oh I got an offer from St. John's. I'm like, that nigga, that nigga's don't, they don't there's no football teams in, in New he's York. Lying, bro. He's <laughs> like, lying, like there's bro. no football teams in the heart of New York City, bro. They just lie or Stony Brook, <laughs> but that don't count. That's where's that? That's like Long Island or Staten Island. Eh, that's like I'm talking about like Brooklyn. Oh yeah, nah, not nothing in Brooklyn. There's no yeah, yeah. college. I, I think what St. John's is in Queens, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Are they even high school football teams? Are there? Like, did your old high school have a football team? Not my high school didn't. They did. But Christ the King had one, I think. Were they good? Like, like, where would you put a football field at? Is there space to put a football field and shit? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I don't know, bro. It's sense. definitely football. It's football in New York because yeah, there like, is. They got to be football, but like. Is it like upstate? I think here? most of it is public schools. Like no, like I, know I went to a Catholic school. A lot of Catholic schools didn't have it. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact we had a lacrosse team. A lacrosse team. Yeah, we had who a was on that team. I don't fucking. Yeah, a lot of white people in your school. Nah, it was a lot of black people that played lacrosse, bro. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> I never seen that before. I mean, it was a lot of. I mean, it was like it was diverse. Like it was a Catholic school, bro. You feel me? It was diverse. What was the school? What school you go Bishop to? Bishop Lachlan. Bishop Lachlan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are they good in basketball now? I know yeah, Dave. They're always gonna be good, bro. <laughs> that nigga Dave be with uh, Christ the King. 
He be filming. Do he them. really? Yeah, like that's for, tough for the overtime shit. For real, that's tough, he Dave. Be, he be over there all the time. He be filming. That's tough. I seen he was at John Jay today. John Jay, what the college, college? Mm-hmm. for what? Mm-hmm. I just seen he was filming at John oh, Jay. Okay. Cause I know I think they're doing like a little like high that's school. That's tough. Cause Kai, cause Kyan's that's not his name. Kai, Kanye. No, Melo son. Oh no, he's not. Was it? No, it's not Christ the King. It's um. He plays for Christ the King. No, right? no, 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 no. It's not this. That's not the school Dave's doing. It's Our Savior Lutheran. Oh, that's what it's I, OSL. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because they're in overtime league. Okay, and I know he's talking do, about. He's doing like a little. Um, we played them too. He's do, were they good when you played them? That was alright. That was alright. Cause we I beat them. Because I know there's a he. He's doing like a documentary or some shit. Uh huh. Like some little short, like what they do on YouTube. That's tough. So shout out to Dave, bro. If you're watching this shit, bro, I don't shout know if you will, media. but you probably might. not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely right. not this far into the pod. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I know we like thirty minutes. In. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> niggas that we how, how long do you think niggas that we know watch the pod too. I don't. Know. I know like Tyrone's episodes and stuff. Like Tyrone, come on, UJ. I I like I watch it in pieces, so I won't. I would yeah. never. I would never finish it. In one but you're second. on the pod. I'm talking about niggas that don't be on the pod. I don't think niggas watch it, bro. I, don't think, I think I think niggas will like tune in for like two seconds. I, was say, I think the most 10, 15 minutes, bro. Ten fifteen. Ooh, ten fifteen. I'll say five. <laughs> you say five. I say most ten fifteen minutes, bro. They'll just they'll they'll just wait till I start talking about like a weird ass ghost story and then yeah, they cut it off, bro. <laughs> once it, once it gets like once it gets a little dead like for a minute, yeah, cut this shit off. Like, <laughs> hey, bro, you're still giving us views. Yeah, get the Thank view, y'all, yeah, bro. Yeah, one view, we take it. <laughs> I take that shit, my nigga. I didn't know if you keep watching it back and forth that counts as a view. Yeah. I used to do that on my YouTube. I used to wonder why my friend was watching his videos <laughs> over and over. I used to do that on my YouTube. I used to, I used to just, I'll, 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 I'll open the video, my video, refresh it, exit out, then refresh it again, exit out, refresh it. <laughs> I wasn't playing, bro. I was, trying to, I was trying to make it. Yo, bro, that's some funny ass shit, I was trying shit, to make bro. it. Somebody it's found my YouTube the other day. I was like, oh, chill, bro. Wait, the one when you was playing video games and yeah, shit? Yeah, I was like, I, I was like, I was, uh, I was somewhere with my dad. And he was like, yo, bro, I see you on TikTok with the, uh, podcast I was like where 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 he was like did i find your regular tiktok i was like all right where did i find your youtube i was like what the fuck like, all right <laughs> how the fuck you find your youtube i, be, I mean i'd be commenting on your on your tiktok so like i know but like how you find oh is it, i didn't even know i have it in my body i have it in my shit so like you could oh like, so i didn't even know i, I didn't even know i, I had was gonna say i there. thought he was like searching your name and shit no like, no fuck? i have i have it in my shit so i'm about to look you, that shit look, I'm gonna look up that shit next a little later yeah, if you look if you if you go on my TikTok, you look like the Instagram and my YouTube's under it. Mm. And then, yeah. Damn, that's tough, bro. But oh, did you see what was going on going on in Mexico, bro? No. Oh, you don't know what's going on, bro? Mm-mm. I, I'm gonna give it to you straight, bro. They freaking they arrested El Chapo. El Chapo's son, yeah, yeah, right? Nigga. I that, do I do I do know what's going on. Bro, them niggas is bugging out, bro. I do know what's going They're on. They're bugging They're out. Not gonna, that's the second time they did that. Why though? are they still doing this shit? Leave him alone. Leave bro. him alone, bro. They're literally <laughs> Yo, they're literally shooting the planes, leaving. I know. I, I, I did see that. I'm lying. I did see that. Bro, I seen some shit. They said as soon as they captured them, they was like, all right, I bet you're going to take them. They put borders on all the all around the sea. They like, all right, y'all niggas locked in now. You either give us them, we're going to kill y'all. They, this, is, this is like the second time they did that. Yes, bro. bro. Leave that kid alone, The bro. first time, they had him in custody. But I know. And then, broke and they, broke him, they broke him out. They, 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 no, they didn't even break him out. They caused so much havoc. They was like, yo, here, have him back, bro. So, and then y'all, y'all want to take him and get like, what's the point? Like, well, this is just making it worse. <laughs> just let, just leave that nigga alone, You bro. know how much power that you really got to have to like, you can never get arrested or you're going to cause like- That's why El Chapo's in- in the United States right now, bro. Oh, he's in the United States? Yeah, El Chapo, like the, him himself. Yeah. yeah, he's probably in the United States. He's he in Alcatraz? He's the, I don't know where he's at. I mean, He's probably in New York or some shit. I mean, they won't really tell you where he's at. Nah, he probably, he probably in the underground or some yeah, shit. Yeah, he probably in the supermax. So how do you create something that big and that respected? Well, he like he talking about his like his cartel. Yeah, like how does he Money, do? Money, bro. But like, how do you even start out? That's that's it. I know. Snowfall, I don't know, bro. Snowfall, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. That. You take you start by one by a gram to a brick, and then a and brick, brick to, to a to whatever, bro. Just keep <laughs> to going a mountain, up, bro. <laughs> to a mountain. To keep going, oh bro. Oh my god, like that nigga is really has Mexico on lock, bro. He might as well. He's the president of that shit. Yeah, for real. And does he yeah. have multiple sons? Yeah, he got hella sons. Like what? Like four? I don't know. Probably more than that, bro. <laughs> That's scary, bro. Like them niggas, I would not go to Mexico, bro. Like them niggas, he they was keeping, they was just shooting random citizens, bro. Yeah, give him my, give him our, our dude back. That's why that's that's why I said that's why that's why El Chapo's in the United States because bro, he couldn't get arrested. He either would break out of jail. So did we arrest him? No, they arrested him and they sent him like like yo, mad here, quick. Yeah, here, bro, take him, take <laughs> like him, hot potato. Yeah, bro, take no. him, bro. Do you think they're trying to? Nah, he can't break out. There's no way he could break out, right? There's no way he's breaking out of the prison over here, bro. There's no way. You Mexico, Mexico a little soft, bro. But it's, but Mexico get pushed. They get pushed around, like you said. They, they probably they gonna give him his son back, bro. Who do you think they're going to? 
<coughs> nigga, I'm just gonna send tanks out Yo, to the street. They don't even. They they they're not even. There's no way for me to even know where El Chapo is right now to break him out of prison. That nigga probably in like Alaska type shit. Yeah, like in a mountain, yeah, in a cold mountain as fuck. Underground, not not playing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not playing around. Not playing out with nobody, bro. That's sick, bro. Free all y'all in Mexico, bro. If you watching this from Mexico. Uh, I pray for you, brother. <laughs> he said, "Free the Mexicans, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's some crazy Yo. shit, bro. But right, I got, I got a question, right? So, what do you think will be worse for the world right now if Genghis Khan comes back to life and he has all the resources nah. and knowledge of a modern day general, not him, bro, or a zombie apocalypse? Damn, zombie apocalypse, probably. But Geng- Genghis Khan was bad, bro. Bro, he freaking. How was, much, what was the percentage of the population he took down? It was like, oh, sh- the population he took down. I don't. There's a bro, lot, bro. He freaking. I think there's a. He has in all of Asians. In I know. The that's world, what I say. I know all the Asians in the world. He's like eight percent. Yeah, like that, that's crazy. It was like he's like he just had that many kids. And I think he killed so many people. Like the carbon levels of the atmosphere went down because like we're not. There's not enough people to breathing. Just breathing. That's <laughs> sick. Bro. So imagine he has like the modern day that's like sick, knowledge of like. But that's the thing though. Like he, he would die though. You think so? Yeah, bro. Like, what you think we just go? But like, what if he has nukes? He would. He would die. He would die. Bro. You think he would? Yeah, bro. Like niggas is not. Everybody would gang up against him, like, yo, bro, we gotta take him out, bro. Like, <laughs> nobody, 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 nobody Everybody sitting f- there going to war with him, bro. Like, all right, bro, we're gonna kill you, bro. <laughs> we <just> we're <laughs> gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna nuke China 10 times until you're dead, bro. You're, you're, you're not surviving, bro, because you're the way you got people sliding for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? He on some El, he on some El Chapo shit, yeah, thing. nah, bro. He, so, you rather do that than zombie apocalypse? I'd rather do that because we're gonna kill him, bro. Eventually, how long you Somebody, think it'll take though? We're gonna ki- he's gonna die fast, bro. You like, think so? Yes, bro. Like I'm telling you, because he's not gonna he's not gonna try to ally with nobody, bro. I know, but you gotta think about this freaking this was, like that nigga from North Korea is pretty bad. But he's yeah, he's pretty bad. But he's not stupid. Genghis Khan <laughs> is gonna be like, I'm pretty bad, and I'm gonna show you how bad I am. And he's gonna he's gonna try to he's really gonna kill people. What if he start making robots? Bro, we're gonna kill him before he even thinks about doing anything. He, the first, the first out of pocket that he do, he's gonna die, bro. But like, look, what if he like manipulates niggas? He's gonna. All right, then. I, I rather, I rather your little generals run around than you. <laughs> <laughs> I rather, I rather have that, bro. I rather have, I rather have the Nazis running around than Hitler. That's true. But <sighs> zombie apocalypse, bro. We could all we we, we joke about it. We say, bro, we're not surviving. Bro, we're gonna apocalypse. die. We're the population is gonna go down within a month. Like we're not. None of us are surviving. It's not the Walking Dead, bro. We're not surviving the zombie right? apocalypse, bro. <laughs> it sounds good. We all want to, but none of us are surviving that, bro. Like, but I really think if Genghis Khan, bro, I just feel like he could. Can he convince niggas to be his allies? You think? Yeah, but then he's gonna turn. Like he's gonna turn on. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna be an ally. He's gonna be like, I, I'm gonna be your ally. I'm gonna just take over your shit. Just think about, it, bro. He has the modern day war tactics. That's what I'm saying. He's gonna just take over, bro. He's not gonna try to ally with nobody. He's just trying to conquer. That's his and whole that's, thing. That's how you think we we will be able to kill him. Yes, bro. Because they're like, yo, he's bugging, bro. He's trying to kill. He's trying to take over everything, bro. <laughs> he's wilding, bro. Let's kill this dude. I don't know, bro. Uh, we're gonna Osama bin Laden him, bro. He's gonna die, bro. I get you. Think about it like that, yo. If 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 uh, what's this kind of Jim Kong Um, whatever his name is. Yeah. If he really dropped the nuke, bro. <laughs> bro, he's, he's he's dying fast, bro. Yeah. If Putin really dropped the nuke, bro. He's dying fast, bro. Like I heard he got cancer. People like that don't die, bro. <laughs> people that people that evil don't die, bro. Like I, yo, bad things don't happen to bad people, bro. Mm. You never know, bro. Bad things don't happen to bad people, bro. People like that don't die, bro. Damn, bro. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he, if he do got cancer, he's gonna survive that shit, bro. Somehow, just like how what's his name did it. Whoever I don't know you talking about, bro. the North Korean guy did it. Oh yeah, bro. Like he's not gonna die, bro. Bad things don't happen to bad people, bro. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll take Genghis Khan, bro. So that's a that's a tip of life. Be an asshole, bro. Being an asshole gets you a lot farther in life, bro. <laughs> don't listen to him. No, for real. <laughs> you could be a normal human being. You don't have you don't have to be. You an have asshole. to be an asshole, bro. You don't have to be an asshole. You have to. Why? That gets you so much. Far. Think about everybody that's successful in life. Elon Musk, He's not an Donald asshole. Trump, Elon you know, Musk is an asshole, bro. He's not. Donald Trump, asshole, very successful. Mark Zuckerberg, not an asshole. You don't know what he is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk enough. You don't know. Bro. LeBron, not an asshole. All right, Le- you don't know what LeBron do back in the, in the, in the spare uh, time. here bro. we you go, know, bro. Bro. Oh, bro. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was asshole, an asshole bro. Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan was asshole, an asshole. Bro. Okay, okay. LeBron's the rare breed. Kobe Bryant was an asshole. He, he was. He was an asshole. 
Kid fucking, from Akron. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> kid from Akron. <laughs> Try for greatness, kid from Akron. He's a he's the one rare breed. Okay. How does, how does he do? How does he rap again? Yabba dabba do this shit, old baby. Yabba dabba do that shit. This shit crazy. Yabba dabba do this shit, old baby. Nigga, what, bro? He said, "Bay for the day, bay for the day." That nigga just be enjoying life, bro. I, yo, it, it's, it, it's paid to be LeBron. I mean, think about it though, like this. He's an athlete, though. Yeah. He didn't get it. I mean, he did get out the mud, but he's an athlete. I'm talking about like successful people that are just like not athletes. Let They're assholes, bro. Andrew Tate, asshole, bro. I like Andrew Tate. Yeah, me too. He's an asshole, though. Barack Obama. Barack he's a he's a president, bro. It's different. Donald Trump was president, he, but Barack Obama is not a. He was a million. He was a billionaire before he was a president, though. Who Barack Obama? No, uh, Donald oh, okay. Trump. All right, how about uh, is Jeff Bezos an asshole? Yes. Damn. Asshole, bro. And 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 Leonardo DiCaprio tried to smash his wife. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't he married? Who Leonardo? Yeah, he's not married. He, yo, he get a, he get a new girlfriend. Oh yeah, he be getting a new girlfriend. He, he get a new girl. As soon as they hit like twenty five, he get a new girlfriend, bro. That's not fucking. Is that weird? A little bit. That's kind of creepy. A little bit. Like he only did, and he's like what pushing fifty. He probably he not pushing fifty. He probably like fifty five. And he's just dating twenty five year olds. Well, no, no, once they get like no, he he did like a twenty two, twenty three year old. Once they hit like twenty five, twenty six, he'll like get a new girl. You think they know that? I think they know. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck because Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. That nigga bro. overrated, bro. That nigga not even handsome for real, bro. Go get somebody else. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all people? Get some standards in y'all lives, bro. You got money. Like Leonardo DiCaprio. I hate that nigga, bro. Titanic was a terrible movie. Fuck that nigga, yo. Django was a great movie, though. Not hating on that movie. Django. Django's the one with the the, the slave, yeah, bro. Yeah, he was a great. Player. I know. Damn. He played that part very too, too well, too well. Played that part too well. <laughs> you know saying he was played it too well. He played that part too well. Hey yo, all right. Even oh, the, uh, the 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 Wolf of Wall Street, or was it no Wolf, Wolf of Wall, Wall Street, Street or, yeah. great, or the Great Caspi, one of them too. Was he? Both, in, he was in both of them. Yeah, great movies. I never. I, I've seen a little bit of Wolf of Wall Street. Both are great movies. That's tough. That's tough. But all right, what what animal in the world can take on a hundred humans? I think a tiger. Like a like a Siberian tiger, the big yeah. shit. I think so. Oh damn! Or a grizzly bear, like no, big a polar bear, polar bear, polar bear, a grizzly bear, like bare handed, like the humans are bare handed, mm-hmm. no guns or nothing, no guns or nothing. Polar bear, that's a good one because polar bears be big as hell, right? They're Thirteen feet, bro. You think an elephant? I think yeah. an elephant. I feel like eventually a, 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 a raging elephant. Yeah, I feel like if you start, what if you poke it at his eyes, bro? How are you reaching his eyes? I don't know. Like if they just, I feel like. A hundred, a hundred humans is a lot. Think about it though. An elephant, all you gotta do is charge you. I know. You, you charge, you charge a hundred humans as an elephant. That's at least there go thirty people right there. All right. So which, what animal you, what big animal you think a hundred humans could take down? Mm. A rhino, maybe. A rhino? Cause they're blind. They are kind of blind. A giraffe. Ooh, yeah, giraffes. Giraffe's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> a giraffe. How about a um? Nah, not hippos. I was about to say hippos. No, no, no. hippo. Nah. I think a, that thing's going to bite somebody in half and everybody going to be scared yeah, of shit. Right. No, ain't nobody taking down the hippo. <laughs> a gorilla? I think so. A gorilla, right? Mm. I feel like if you, I feel like if they start beating on it a little bit. Because gorillas, like I said, gorillas don't. Punch? They Yeah, they don't fight the way we, they supposed to, bro. Mm-hmm. They don't use their strength. Them niggas is nerfed, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> they, they, they had a bad uh, cold, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, they probably was OP back in the day, bro. Not anymore? Yeah, nah. I think a crocodile, too. I think we can take a crocodile. Yeah, hell yeah. Crocodiles don't do... They, they <laughs> just... Uh, in the water? Yeah, hell yeah. Somebody, no, in the water? It, uh, a crocodile can't take on 100 humans in the water. No, uh, one? Yeah, not one. Not one. Like, multiple, yeah. yeah. But like... Pff, shit. He's gonna get one. Yeah, it's good. He's, no, he's probably gonna get a couple. I don't get one because once once he get once all you gotta do is close his mouth, bro. Oh, then you when good? his mouth is closed, it's good because he can't. Right. It don't have it don't have shrimp to open this way. What do you mean? Like a, a crocodile don't have shrimp. To, like so, if you oh yeah, if you step on a crocodile's mouth, it don't have no shrimp to go like this. Oh, I get you. It mean. only has it, it's all the shrimps come coming, coming down. Coming down. So okay. it can't if it, if it's pressure, it can't come up. Mm, damn. So I think yeah, that's good. You think we can get a tiger? Nah, bro. tigers are hu- yo. I never realized how big tigers were for That's real. It. They're bigger than freaking lions. Yeah, and then their claws and teeth on top of that, they canines, bro. Like, bro, and their bite forces. Is and ridiculous. I feel like they are, they're very tactical too. Yeah. Like they'll be like, right, I'm gonna take down the biggest nigga first, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna go down the line. I think that they're smarter. Yeah, bro. yo, you, you heard of that 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 uh that lion pride that was in Africa? That's like super sized lions. No, I heard them from Joe Rogan. Like these lions. So like it was like where a, a river split off and like. 
like over some land, so it made like a little island. Yeah. And the only island, only animals that was on the island were water buffalo. Mm-hmm. So like the lions were the only thing that the lions could eat was the water buffalo. Yeah. So they had to adapt to how big they were, and the lions got bigger over time. That's like, tough. Like as in like like the female lions were as big as normal male lions. So the them niggas was chasing because they had to. Like, and they, they still like run around. Yeah, they still be running around. There's you can. I think I think it's in the Congo. Everything crazy Everything's in the Congo. Everything bro. crazy in the fucking Congo. Everything came crazy is in the Congo. Like bro. them niggas is huge, bro. <laughs> like of course I, it's in the Congo. Like I, I heard freaking there's like a place with like six foot tall monkeys, bro. Of course. Like imagine of course, bro. <laughs> a six foot tall chimp, my nigga. Of that's, course. That's us. That's us before evolution came, my nigga. Of course, <laughs> of course it's in the Congo. Hey, bro. Either in the Congo or Australia. I know, right? Australia got some crazy shit, bro. Like, you ever, I seen. Yo, like, you the, seen the spiders, bro? Bro, the spiders be like as big as a laptop, bro. You seen, bro? You seen the leopard seals, bro? You seen that video of like that kid that got attacked by a seal? A leopard? That would be a, that's an that's in Australia. No, that that shit where the kid got attacked. I don't think it was in Australia. It was in Antarctica, right? Probably. No, no, no. It was a. It was on. He was on the beach, like he was in the water for real. And then the, the seal was like swimming and like biting the nigga. It was like a little kid. I didn't see that. It was on TikTok, bro. That shit was wild. He I'm died. Like, nah, he didn't die. They uh-huh. they was able to get the seal. It wasn't like a. It wasn't a leopard seal. Leopard seals are huge. I know. Them just like 12. you know they, you know they're actually pretty friendly, bro. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. But like they be attacking random people sometimes. Yeah. Like if they're on a bad day, they'll. I think they. Ki- I think it killed. They was doing um like a documentary. Yeah. On, on that, that's Antarctica. the only, that's the only uh like recorded document though of, of, of episode killing somebody. That was the only time they probably, they probably doing some mid shit. Yeah, they probably they probably actually get killed. Yeah, you know how being they probably don't tell the whole story about yeah. it to be inhumane and shit. Mm-hmm. But all right, I got I got another question, right? So what which one would you rather do for five billion dollars? And for each of them, they will give you the supplies to survive it, right? So it's you have to try to cross the Atlantic Ocean on a rowboat, or you have to climb to the peak of Mount Everest. Mount Everest. You gonna take Mount Everest? Mm-hmm. You think you could do that shit? Nope, I'm not doing that. Like uh, they said, they said the Atlantic Ocean would take sixty days. Sixty days. The Mount mm-hmm. Everest will be about eighteen months. That's true too. So you're gonna be up there. That's cold as hell. And you said they will give me. Re- so they won't. They won't let me die. I mean, you could die, but like they're gonna give you the resources to to be like at your peak. I, like they'll give you food. Like you'll have. Like when you're on the boat, you're by yourself on the boat though. But you yeah. have food. You have like. So if I run out of food, I'm dead. Yeah, they'll give you enough food for like that whole thing though. But like if you start like wowing on it, like if you start like like anything can happen. They're just gonna give you a boat full of food. Like that shit could go overboard. Type but, shit. But I'm saying if it, it, could, it can go overboard. It could go overboard. Yeah. And I could lose the food. You could lose the food. Or if you're on Mount Everest, like you. Or I could go like let's say let's say I don't really know where I'm going. I could like switch ships and not and, and go somewhere else. Yeah. Mount Everest, bro. But like in Mount Everest, like what is it? Oh shit, bro! Mount Everest, bro. That's cold as fuck. Niggas be dying on that bitch. Um, I'll, I'll take my chances. I'm gonna drown, bro. You think so? Yeah, bro. What if a big all take? You ever seen Life of Pi? It takes one, I did one wave, bro. I did one wave, one goes. big ass wave. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do Mount Everest, too. especially at night in the ocean. Oh, a, 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 a ocean storm. Fuck that. On a rowboat. Oh. You're not surviving that, bro. <sighs> Damn, that's the cold. You're at, you're what? How long is 18 months? Was that? Oh, that's like a, a year and a half. I take it, bro. Fuck. I come back best shape of my life. Best shape of your life with uh, with five million dollars and, and two five toes. billion dollars. Look and two toes. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You on some Dr. Sanders shit? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm definitely gonna lose some toes and some fingers, but oh damn, bro. Do you like for Mount Everest? Do you think like how can you think me and you could sign up for that, or you think we need like experience? Nah, they won't. They wouldn't let us do that. You don't think so? No. You think you need like like a like a license type shit? Yeah, or like some type of mountain climbing. Experience. You can't just unless you just go and do it. <laughs> like you got the bread for you, like pay no, for it. unless you just like oh by yourself. Yeah, like fuck, I'm gonna just go do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that you can even do that. I feel like there's checkpoints you have to go through. I mean, you never know. He probably just he, I, he's I mean, going on the wrong side of the mountain. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, what are he's doing, bro? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm asked the question because I seen something on TikTok that a lady is actually trying to row across the Atlantic Ocean. She's 30 days in right now. She got another month. I mean, but she's some somebody's guiding her though. No, she's by herself. She's by herself. Yeah, she's on like she has a live stream. I don't know how the fuck she got a live stream, but oh shit, I don't know that shit fake. Nigga, she's like rowing and like you just see the waves coming around. Like damn, imagine that, that shit. shit. Fake, bro. You think so? Look that yeah. shit. See if it's see if it's on the shit. I don't know if they're still on that TikTok shit, no more. That shit fake. Bro. You think so? I don't know, bro. If it's on, how do you have how do you have, how do you have a live stream up? Mm-hmm. Probably got some good shit. service. Unless she's like recording it. That shit fake. You never know, bro. You never know how that shit work. <laughs> Nah, that shit not real. But 
since we talk, I got I got a story to tell you about, bro. I was watching I was watching this on YouTube the other day. Since we talk about Mount Everest, there was a story. You ever heard of the the Russian Death March? No. So this is a story about an incident that happened on the in Russia in Siberia. It's called the Kam- Kamar. Da- What's it called? It's called Kamar Dabin Mountain Ranges, right? Yeah. So it's like a nice mountain ranges in uh, Siberia, and you know Siberia is like. The wilderness and shit like that. That's where mm-hmm. all the tigers and the bears should be at. So it was basically an incident that happened in the 90s, I think, where a bunch of... So there was a group of seven hikers ranging from ages um, 15 to about 24, so our age. Yeah. And their their goal was to go to one of the peaks in the mountain ranges. So mm-hmm. they were just going to go see the view and shit like that. But as they're doing their trek, it's going to take a couple of days, but as they were doing their trek the weather started getting really bad, so they had to turn around. Yeah. So one of the days they started, they were heading back down the mountain and shit like that. They're going to the forest. And then all of a sudden, one of the guys started bleeding from his ears, his nose, and his mouth randomly. And then he he died, right? And then yeah. I, after that happened, everybody else started doing the same shit, bleeding from your ears, nose, eyes, their mouths, just bleeding and just, they're just dying. Two people like was like choking, like suffocating. They like ripped their clothes off because they couldn't like breathe. And only one, sur- there was only one survivor. Her name was Valentina. She was 17 years old. So she experienced all that shit, yeah. watching all her friends die, like freaking a 15 year old, the 24 year old, all that shit, bro. So after she seen that, she had to survive in the woods by herself for four days because she didn't know where she was going yeah. until she was found by a kayaking group in a river. They seen her on the side of the, of the river, riverbank. Yeah. She was covered in, uh, she was covered in blood. Uh-huh. And they took her to the police, and she couldn't say nothing because she was like so traumatized about the yeah. whole situation. Until she, they told them the story. She told them the story of like what happened to her whole group, uh-huh. and so they went up, and the whole shit was true. And people think that they got, they was in like a crossfire of like a secret like Russian experiment, like uh-huh. a weapon that would. That's how they they would kill niggas. Yeah, and they was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or they, a lot of people think it was like some aliens or some shit like that. Like they had like some weird that, weapon. That first one makes sense. Like the the weapon, yeah. right? Like they made like it was in a crossfire, something that they wasn't supposed to be at. Yeah, like a little like, or maybe there was the niggas was planning on it, like waiting for like a a stray group just to come by. Yeah, and you know, let's just test this weapon out real quick, see if it works. Cause like bleeding from every freaking hole in your head, bro. Yeah, that's not that's not natural. That's not natural, and everybody just dropped. But like, I don't know why it was just her though. Because this incident happened before too. Like it was this is not the first time this happened. But the last time it happened, everybody died. No, uh, they probably that like, she probably was just a uh, the the run of the litter. You think so? Just got she got kind of lucky. They what probably, if, what if it was like a like she was like the messenger? Like, yo, look, this is what we got. Nah. You don't think so? No, nah, I think she just got lucky. She just got lucky. She wasn't supposed to survive. Mm, I get you. That's crazy. Imagine you see that shit, bro. That's some traumatizing shit. Nah, I'd be psh, I'd be like, damn. Nigga bleeding from your fucking eyes, my nigga. I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? I'd be like, <laughs> hey, yo. I'd be like, am I next? <laughs> no, nah, oh God, I don't think I'm next, bro. Like, I'm touching my body and shit like that. I'm like, yo. I would just start sprinting. Like, nah, fuck this. Start <laughs> oh, bro. I wouldn't even survive in the woods after that. She survived four days. That's what I'm saying. I would, I would, I would sat there and died. In the cold, it was freaking, it was like, it was snowing. It was windy. I just sat there and died, bro. Fuck that, bro. I got no, yo, I got no willpower, bro. If you throw me in the woods, I'm like, I right, fuck it. I'm dead, you just bro. gonna, you just gonna give up? <laughs> I'm dead, bro. Hey, yo. Got no willpower, bro. I'm not doing none of that, bro. Just, just kill me, bro. That's funny as hell. And then I got another story I was watching because I was, bro. I be watching my like when I go to the gym, I go on the stepper a lot. Uh-huh. So I be looking up on YouTube videos like these. Is a dude. His name is Mr. Ballin. Yeah. And he talks about like crazy stories like this, mm-hmm. and like he's talking about the most. You know where what's the most haunted and most like um not dangerous, what's the word? It's one of the it's the most haunted abandoned towns in America. It's in Connecticut. It's called Dudley Town. And this town is basically like cursed by something and nobody knows what happened. Yeah. So the story goes in the early nineteen hundreds, there was a family from New York City that went to Connecticut to find a house to yeah. build, like, you know, for Christmas and shit like that. And they found they went into this forest. It was I forgot what the forest called. It was like something like a dark spirit forest or something like that. Mm-hmm. And they went in there and they seen it look mad nice. Like yeah. and nobody was there, but they seen like little ruins of buildings and shit like that. Uh-huh. But they didn't pay no mind. So they was like, all right, we're gonna buy this land and we're gonna build a house on it. So when they bought the land they was looking for people to help them build the house, but nobody would build it for them. Yeah. But they just thought like it was just, they had too much work, but everybody literally just said, nah, we're not doing that. We're not working in that forest. Uh-huh. So, but they never, they didn't care. So they, they built it themselves. So 
they would go there for like a couple years. They'll go back and forth. Like just them two will go there for like vacations. Like they're, that's their like summer home or winter home for the holidays. Mm-hmm. Until one, uh, until one day, the husband is a doctor in New York City. Yeah. So he got a call from the hospital like, that there was an emergency. So he had to come back. So he let his, he left his let his wife stay there for the night. And she was like, she was scared and shit because she's never been alone. But he was like, I'll be there, be back in the morning. So when he came back from the train station she wasn't there she was supposed to pick him up like they were supposed to meet there he went back into the cabin and he he hears like laughter in the in like the upstairs like somebody laughing like mad yeah. loud like like some ghost shit and then he goes and he sees his wife that's like she's just curled up in the corner of the room and like her mouth is wide open but she's like laughing coming out of her mouth like she's crazy uh-huh. and like she's just she's telling him like yo She's like, he's like, what's the matter? He's like, he's like the shadow people. I seen shadow people outside. You don't see them? He's like, what are you talking about? And the whole story about the whole town of, of Dudley Town is that it's been cursed by like the Native Americans. And whoever like steps foot on that town is like bad luck happens. Like the the town before, before they like um there was a before they moved there, there was a whole town, like Dudley Town. Yeah. And they all everybody in that town had some sort of bad luck. Like people got struck by lightning. People was getting sick, like whole families was just getting sick by random diseases until like everybody just ran out of time because they just did. and then and then a lot of people started seeing these shadowy figures in the woods, yeah. like walking around and just like scaring people and like they would go insane seeing that shit. Like a lot of people would kill themselves, a lot of people would go into mental hospitals because they see like these shadowy figures that nobody else sees, but they see them in the woods just like 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 creatures and shit like that. So people say that the wife while she was there seen something. And now she start. Then she went crazy, just like all the other people from Delhi Town went. And they say like they had to. They abandoned that cabin, and they he brought. There's two stories. They said they abandoned the cabin, and then he brought it back to New York, and, and he had to put her in a freaking mental hospital because she was like so traumatized by the shit she's seen. Or in the other story, they said like she couldn't take it no more. She killed herself. And like this place, like you can still go. Like you can't go there. It's I'm like saying, I'm not going. <laughs> you can't. Like it's like you can't. It's like um cut off like it's like no it's like private property and nobody yeah. could go there but people be venturing off in there sometimes uh-huh. and a lot of people say they see things in the woods and they hear shit but a lot of people they try to keep people out of there as much the as possible because possible. everybody knows like the story about it uh-huh. so y'all people in Connecticut y'all niggas is fucking nuts y'all got the conjuring in that bitch the conjuring's from Connecticut yeah bro that whole <laughs> shit was in Connecticut that doll bro uh-huh. the Annabelle doll that shit from Connecticut Oh yeah, I'm I'm never moving to Connecticut. Y'all niggas got some crazy yeah, shit up there, bro. Done up, bro. Hell no. Never going to Connecticut. Free PA. But just, <laughs> oh, is he in Connecticut? Mm-hmm. Hartford. He, he might know about that shit because just imagine, like he looked like the lady. You ever watch? You remember? You know Joker, right? You ever seen like the the Joker gas? <laughs> The what? You ever you know that that gas he had when it yeah. makes people laugh? It was like that, but like she just has her mouth open and just laughter is coming out, like a like a like she's been possessed. That's sick. I'd have been like, yo, bitch, bro. <laughs> like just oh, <laughs> nigga, I've been fucking nah, bro. As soon as soon as I them niggas would told me they didn't want to like help me build the shit, I would have that been a red flag. Uh huh. And then the ruins and shit, I'm like, nah, fuck that, nigga. I ain't doing that shit. I ain't gonna live here for that shit. Like imagine, bro. Them niggas, she was freaking traumatized for that shit, bro. Y'all Connecticut people, bro. Free y'all niggas, bro. We we don't got nothing like that in Jersey, bro. We just living like... You got the New Jersey devil, that's it. <laughs> I don't think that shit real for real, bro. Nah, it's not. There's no way it's real. Because the, the story was crazy. You remember? Yeah, the, the mother birthed a demon. A demon? A, a demon And devil. then went up the chimney and shit? Uh, yeah. Did they? Did you learn about that in school? No, nah, I learned about it when I was in, came over here. Oh, really? They taught us that. They taught me that in like sixth grade. Nah, I, I got it was an urban like somebody just told me about it, and then like I, I had a big creek by my house, mm-hmm. so I always used to think about oh the Jersey Devil going to come to the creek. Is it? I think by your crib that's where the headless horseman is or something. Is that Sleepy Hollow? Is there Sleepy Hollow around here? Or is that in, or is that in London? I don't fucking know. You ever you ever heard like that headless horseman shit? Yeah, but I don't know. It, I don't, it might if it's from not from me. I don't think so. I always thought it was by you because that's what, your town looks kind of like that. Like that eerie shit. You know, you know where my town was. Um, and that is a street in Englewood. That is the um, street that George Washington led whatever in the Civil War. Really? Yeah, one of the, or one of the fucking wars. George Washington did led, led something. <laughs> so over George there. Washington was in that bitch. Yeah, freaking in my town there was um there's a lady called Hannah Kawa that got shot. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice name, Hannah Kawa. And like they named the they named the elementary school after. Her. Wait, what the fuck happened? There was something else that happened that they taught us. I can't remember. What the fuck happened in Union? 
because I know we got a cannon in the middle of town. So there was, a, I think there was a battle. I don't think it was a battle of union though. It might have been some some little <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think it was like some shit where niggas like ran. Like it was like the Hannah Caldwell lady was like. So it was basically during the World War. She was just somebody at the house, and she was like, "Hey, stop that shit!" And nigga said, "Who the fuck?" And, and yeah, shot and her. Shot her. And yeah. Damn, I don't know why. Her, bro. She, and like nigga said, like she be haunting the shit or some shit like that. Because I know we have like some. We have a veterans like memorial like burial ground. Uh huh. Like, do you guys have that in your town? Mm-mm. We have I don't that. Think so. Like I don't, in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so though. Is Inglewood a big town? Uh, it's big. It's not that big. It's probably Union's probably bigger. You think so? How yeah. many How many people you had in high school? Do you remember? I didn't. Go to teen, I didn't. Go, I went to Teaneck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you from Teaneck, by the way. I'm not. Was T-Nick. is Teaneck bigger than Inglewood? I don't know. How many How many people graduated from Teaneck? Like in your class, do you remember? No. Nah. My shit was like six hundred. I think mine's probably was like. If I had to guess, I'll say. I'll say five hundred. Oh, that's not bad. 500, 600. This, this is how you know your school's big. Like, when you're in the hallways, is there, like, little, like, traffic jams because there's too many niggas walking nah, through? No, it was never that bad. Really? Yeah. Bro, Nick, there's, like, intersections from my high school. Like, it's, like, like actual intersections, and niggas uh-huh. would get stuck. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, it was never that much traffic in the hallways. Bro, like, if, like, say, because we, for lunch, right, there's, like, sometimes they don't unlock their doors. Mm-hmm. So, like, when niggas is waiting for lunch, they're just waiting out there. If that shit piles up, like, you can't move for real. Oh, yeah, nah. My, yeah, my high school was never that big. What I mean, my high school is huge, though. It is? My, yeah, my high school is actually, like, It got big. floors, or is it just wide? It's, it's got floors. How many floors? Like, like four floors. Oh, damn, yeah, nah. And then it's, like, it's long as hell. Really? The long, hallways is long as, like, one hallway is, like... Mad long. We have like four of them. Like it's like really? one, there's one long hallway like this long. Well, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another, another one that long. There's another one that long. And there's another one. So like, our high school was big as hell. What the fuck? My like my high school. We had a one long hallway. They said it was like a quarter mile. I think probably not. <coughs> but we had we only had two floors though. I don't know. One of them should probably if you if you if you ran the whole hallway, it probably be hot. Half a mile, maybe maybe a little more. <laughs> Half a mile hallway is crazy. Maybe a little more. Our hallways was long as fuck, bro. How long? How many? How much time you had in between classes? We had we had uh ours was like five minutes. In between, damn, I don't. I think about five ten minutes. Five ten minutes. But I think we had like. Did y'all have block periods? We had four classes a day in Teaneck. Oh, okay, no, nah, we had nine. So I think it was like what forty it was 85, it like eighty five minute classes. Oh, okay. So it's like college. Yeah, yeah, but we had so we had like, we had four classes one day. It was an A day and a B day. Mm-hmm. So we yeah, had four classes mean. one day, and then four classes another day. Four four classes another day. And it would be like you have one day, one class is like Monday, Tuesday. And then you have a class like like like, like so how it colleges. Ro- it, yeah, but it rotated though. So like Monday was A day. Fr- <clears throat> Tuesday was B day. Wednesday was A day. Thursday was oh, B-day. and then the next week it was flipped. Yeah, so if, if it ended on Friday, it ended on the B day. Monday would be an A day. Oh, so that's how that's how that's how Teaneck was. And then and and when I went to Lockland, we had like a, it was like the same thing, but instead of the uh, instead of the 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 schedule switching, so it, the the set time was always the set time. Yeah, but our schedule just rotated. So like one day we we might have uh. We might have uh, science on the forty-five minute block, and mm-hmm. then another day we might have science on the thirty-minute block. And oh. then we might have science on the on the hour twenty-five block. That's kind of tough. I ain't so gonna lie. It, the, the the schedule will just rotate this way. So, so you won't. So each day you won't have the. So like, say I have a class like on a Monday, I won't have that same class next Monday. No. Okay. Okay. So if, so for Teaneck, it was like if you might have that class Monday. Like it depends on because if, if if Friday was a B day, Monday was, it was a, a day. day. Okay. But for Lachlan, it was like all right. So month. So the first period, your first period might be a, a, a hour, a hour and a half block. Yeah. Tomorrow it rotated. So you have you have your your regular nine classes or whatever. I think it was like eight or nine classes a day. Yeah. And then one. So you rotate. So you're the, that next Monday or whatever. No. So the the not the next Monday, the the, the next day, mm-hmm. whatever class you had before that on the 30 minute block or whatever, or whatever time it was, that would become your hour 25 block. So and it's then, just like it like rotates. Yeah, so your classes just go up like this. So Oh, it's like it's like a like a cycle. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Was Bishop Lockley was it a big school? It was it was big enough. Because I remember UJ used to go to St. Mary's and Elizabeth. Them niggas, that school little as shit. Nah, my my school was bigger than that. Like that them niggas only had six teachers in that whole school. Nah, nah, we had 
we had Matt. Nah, our, <laughs> Lachlan was big. Just imagine six teachers. I think I think tuition was like what ten k uh, a trimester or whatever. That's fucking nuts. Ten thousand dollars, my nigga. That shit was. What's great. a trimester? Is that the whole year? Is that no, one? So like one quarter. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that shit was bread, bro. Nigga, what the fuck? I remember my friend used to go to. I think Rosa Catholic was the same shit. He used to go to. I was like, damn, why the fuck you paying ten k a month, my nigga? Yeah, Were man. you paying ten k? Oh, yo, he's on with the basketball shit. I mean, no, I, I was paying. Mm. Not, I don't know how much I was paying. I, mean, I didn't pay. My, my parents paid it, but it was paying, though. Shit. And they even got, is there a fast foot for high school? Nah. <laughs> I, think they, I think they tried to do it, like, maybe, like, cause I know it was a lot of, like, not, not trying to, like, say it, but it was a lot of broke people that went there. So I think <laughs> yeah. it was based off your, uh, your income or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, or, like, I know a lot of people, like, if you was really smart, you got a scholarship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, they don't tell you that, but. A lot of basketball people got scholarships for academics, but mm-hmm. it really was because they played basketball. I get you. Did you did you get free lunch? No, you had to actually pay. Like like you you it wasn't even like it wasn't like a a, a lunch plan. You had to like pay bread for lunch. Like, like you had to, you had to bring the money. Yourself. Yeah, like if, okay. you, if you didn't have bread, it wasn't like oh just put it on like my my school bill or whatever. No, like you had to like come with bread. Oh no, I'm saying that because I remember. Wait, Jay, did you have to pay? You paid full lunch. Oh wow, you had money. Cause, cause niggas, whoever didn't pay, whoever had, um, I think, I don't know how it was. Don't quote me on this. If you had, if you got free lunch, I think that means your parents didn't make enough money or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's how it was in, in uh, like my middle school. If, if you had free lunch, that means you was broke for real. Yeah. So <laughs> fuck y'all niggas that used to flex that free lunch. Y'all niggas broke yeah, as fuck, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I paid yeah, that shit if, full price, if nigga. You have, if, you, if you had free lunch, you was broke. You broke like, ass, you, you, nigga. You, you, you on, called you, me broke. <laughs> fuck you talking about? You was on, you was on welfare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. So welfare. I, I, I remember I, th- I used to thought I got free lunch and then I like I, I used to never eat I never used to eat lunch. Yeah. I used to like skip lunch. So like I never so like when I used to actually do eat lunch, I'd be like, what the fuck? I gotta pay it. My, my mom get a bill for lunch? What do you mean? <laughs> so my mom made enough money, so I had to pay still. <laughs> but even in T neck, so T neck It was the same way? It was the same way as in like yeah like you had to like like you had to pay for lunch yeah you could either pay with money or put it on your whatever mm-hmm. but you could like I was upperclassman by the time I got to teen you could also leave for lunch we couldn't do that because we didn't have nothing to go to oh no nah, we had like a couple shit to go to so I would leave for lunch every day anyway so. that's just so ass like we like we I I'm, I think other your high school did that too right Jay like you guys got to leave for lunch that's so fuck cause you said what where'd you go oh. Freaking. Nah, mine was junior, senior year you could leave. So if you was a sophomore, but even like sophomores did it still. But like, like literally the only food places by Union High School is like this one diner, and then there's a Seven Eleven, a CVS. There's nothing else. Oh nah, see, yeah, we had. I mean, we had to walk. I mean, so yeah, like, that's what I'm people, saying. People had cars too, but like, if by walking distance, we had a pizza shop, a Spanish shop, Popeyes. Uh, so as Seven Elevens, uh, Jamaican spot. You and your y'all gotta diner. do better, bro. Like that's some bullshit. But so that's like, good though. Keep them niggas in school. They don't need to be outside. Empanadas place. Yeah. So we had like by walking distance, we could we could get something good and come back on time. That's good, bro. But fuck y'all, y'all, y'all free lunch niggas. Y'all used to, y'all used to be like, yo, look at me, I got this shit for free. Look, I'm about to go get another one. Fuck that schoolie nigga. nigga, you ain't had no schoolie nigga. Y'all niggas was broke, bro. Broke ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that niggas ain't up for real. But I, um, I think it was like a like a dollar twenty five, or I had to pay like a dollar twenty five every lunch I, I I got. I think when I graduated, it went up to two. I think it was like two something, like two fifty maybe. Mm, I mean, I never even ate lunch. So I didn't give a fuck. So I gotta ask my sister how much lunch is right now. I used to hate that 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 pizza they used to give us, bro. Like the little, square one. Yeah, that bro. That was nasty. Ugh. Now we used to have triangle pizza though. Nah. Big I mean, that Big Daddy pizza. You didn't nah. have no Big Daddy pizza. I didn't. That eat was lunch. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the lunch was so bad. I'm like, yo, I'm not eating this, bro. There would be some good. Days. I was starved, bro. I really wouldn't eat it, bro. Really? I was starved. I was not starved. I was. I wouldn't be hungry. You a bougie nigga, bro. I was, but I wait. Till like I like that prison food. I would wait till I get my mom made breakfast in the morning. I eat breakfast. Damn, in the you morning. didn't eat the school breakfast? Nope. Bro, Hell no. Them nigga, eggs. Nigga. That's why I don't like eggs now, bro. <laughs> that shit is traumatized bro, me, bro. We used to have that. They used to have sausage. You know, I, you know, what I, I would eat, bro. I'll, I'll take the patties off of somebody else's plate. Oh, yeah. you should have to take the sausage patties? Yeah, I'll, I'll eat the sausage, but I'll never get my own. I'll take it off somebody else's plate. Like, oh, I'll okay. see like, one of my, oh, yo, good morning, bro. Take a sausage patty. <laughs> take and a then, sausage patty. <laughs> but, like, I'll never get it myself. But I had the, um, I had, got, my mom made breakfast in the morning. Uh-huh. So I eat, I eat in the morning before I went to school. And then I wouldn't eat lunch. And I, I would really wait till I get home, got home to eat. Wow. I mean, niggas would eat lunch at, what's lunch, like 10? Like ten forty five, like what eleven eleven forty five? I think mine was eleven forty five. Mine was mine was different each year. So. You get there at eight, 
Yeah, eleven forty-five, and you get out two thirty. So yeah, yeah. Works. So so that's basically it's basically like breakfast though. Like with yeah. me now, it's breakfast. Like uh-huh. I, so, I, say, I wake up at twelve now. Yeah, <laughs> now nah, facts. I wake up madly. If I wake up at eight, I'm not eating at eight. Facts. I wake up. I wake up, I, if I wake up at eight, I, I don't eat till like twelve anyway. I be kind of. I, I mean, I, right now, I only eat once a day now. So I be like, trying. I be doing that shit sometimes too. Like I'll eat like madly. Nah, I try to eat like all my meals around like I try to eat like at five o'clock. That's good. I think I, I do that too. You like you get like one big meal. One big, like not even big. I just get a one moderate meal once a day. Mm. I drink mad water throughout the day. That really that drinking the water holds me down. That's good. I don't yeah. be hungry like that no more though. But do you be peeing a lot? I do. I gotta pee right now. Actually, I knew you did because <laughs> this nigga leg twitching this shit. <laughs> this nigga waiting for the break. Fuck out of here. You gotta hold on, nigga. I, I'm, I'm, I'm holding on. I gotta pee though, bad. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this nigga. This nigga chucked like two water bottles before we started this bro, shit, bro. You thirsty, bro. All right, I got a question, right? So, for your life, who would you rather fight? You would fight Prime Ronda Rousey or two exact clones of yourself? I'm, I, I'll am take two exact clones of myself. I, I'm not... So, you I, pussy? Yeah, but I'm not, <laughs> I, I, I don't got the skill to beat Ronda. Two, three of me is not beating Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> might, so I'm, you, I'm, I'm, being, I'm about to be a little sexist. We'll fuck her up. Like, we'll just fuck her up. <laughs> but one of me, hell no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not fighting her, bro. So you gonna fight yourself? Yep. You think I, you gonna win? Two of me? Two of you? Nah, I'm fucking. That's, that's what I'm saying. You got they anger problems. They buddy. fucking me up, bro. <laughs> so you gonna <laughs> fucking me up, bro? They washing me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fine too myself. I don't even think I can beat myself for real. They, <laughs> they gonna destroy me, bro. Especially two of me right now. Yeah, they killing my ass, bro. I feel like with me, I, I'm sympathetic. So like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna feel bad for nah, punching nigga. Me, <laughs> but like, they don't know it's for your life though. If you get knocked out, nah, this angry, two angry bees right now is over, bro. They I know they gonna up, beat bro. your ass. So, <laughs> man, I don't even want to see that shit, nigga. That's like. Damn, man, you get jumped. Imagine losing to yourself. I was like, damn, you're gonna jump me, car? Yeah, bro. Shut, <laughs> Shut your bitch up. <laughs> Knowing you, they probably have Tim's on. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> they got Tim's on. Nah, nah. bro. That's a funny you shit. racist. I haven't worn Tim's in like a month. Bro. How's that racist? <laughs> <laughs> you say that because I'm from New York, bro. Hey, racist nigga. That's just. You have a. Like, you still got a pair of Tim's, bro? Yeah, I got a fresh pair of Tim's in the yeah. crib. Yeah. How many, pair of, how many pairs of Tim's do you think you had in your life? Uh, my life, I don't. You know, my dad got like four or five pairs sitting downstairs right now. Like brand new? No, like oh. this, <laughs> recycled. <laughs> I'm like brand new pair of Tim's is nuts, bro. Brand new pair of Tim's. But I don't is know. Nuts. A recycle. I, don't. I know. I used to get a. I used to get a, a pair. A pair a year when I was younger. Yeah. And then I get. You, my mom used to give me the brief and broccoli joints. <laughs> and then I think I had a black pair when I was younger. I used to get a pair a year when I was younger. Then a when pair I, every year? Uh, yeah, because the, the, the shit's getting nasty, bro. Oh. And then I think once I got to high school, yeah, once I got to high school, I stopped getting, I started, I just started wearing my dad's Tim's. My dad, my dad also gets like, my dad gets like three pairs a year, or two or three pairs a year. Like he buys it himself? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I started like, if he, once he get a new pair, I'll take his old pair. Okay. And then I, I, after that, and then like, I then college, I wore them a couple times. That's not bad. So yeah, once I got to college, I probably stopped getting Tim. So like, if you say a, a, a pair a year, probably like, probably had like 20, 25 Tim's. <laughs> That's fucking insane. 25 pairs of Tim's is crazy. Freaking, I seen, bro, I was in Krause's the other day. Mm-hmm. Bro, oh my God, it pissed me the fuck off, bro. I, I went, it was like Thursday. So I'm in there, right? There was two ladies and they had a kid. I knew it was a bad situation because the kid was like three, two, or, no, he's like two or three. He only had one Tim boot on. Damn. Yeah, one Tim boot on. So, like, I'm in there. I'm talking. You know, I'm talking to the, our mans, bro. The nigga that be in the uh, front. I was talking. He's like, what's good, bro? I said, what's up? He said, happy new year. I hear his laying behind me. She's like, she's like, man, let me get a let me get an oven roast turkey on a, on a roll with lettuce. He's like, oh, you can just order here. He said, she's like, man, I ain't got time for that shit. I said, <laughs> oh, shit. All right. <laughs> so, he's like, he's like, all right, bro. You want it the same way? He said, yeah. And then the other girl, she didn't have no teeth. Uh-huh. So, she's like, she's like, man. She's like, um, make sure no onions on that, man. No onions. No onions. He's like. You want, he's like, you want some pickles? Like, man, I don't want no pickles on that shit. And then I'm like, all right, bro. So I ordered my food already. Mm-hmm. And I'm waiting at the line. You know, you put your shit on the thing. Yeah. They have all their shit on there. So I'm like, all right, bro. I'm not going to hold this shit. So I went, he's like, you can come over here. I'm waiting over here. So like, they got all their stuff and they're just yelling at this nigga, bro. They're like, bro, I can't. They're like, yo, I can't deal with this shit, bro. I'm tired. And this kid's like throwing his Cheetos all around the fucking shit with one shoe on. <laughs> he's like, he's like picking at the. It's Newark for you, bro. Bro, he's picking at the, the shit where the, the fruit is, just picking shit up. She's uh-huh. like, she's like, put that shit down. He, she picking them up and then they go pay her shit, pay their shit. So I'm like, all right, they about to leave. And then I hear the one lady, she, she come back, she's like, man, how much these bag of chips? Like the one with no teeth. Uh-huh. She said, how much these chips? 
Uh, she's like three fifty. He's like, and then she's picking up more chips. Like she got like four bags of chips in her hand. She said, "How much are all these chips?" I'm like, "Oh hell no, she ain't gonna pay for this shit right now." I, cut, I went in front of the line. I made sure. I swear uh-huh. to God, I was. Oh my God, I was so pissed. I was in that bitch for like twenty five minutes, bro, just to get my sandwiches. Twenty five minutes, bro. Fuck them niggas. Y'all see this shit, bro? Y'all piss me off, bro. But I don't know. I just want to say that shit. I just you <laughs> got niggas just bent it real fast. I man. had to, bro. Niggas talking about Tim's. That shit. Put, <laughs> that shit was annoying, bro. I was like, nah, bro. I swear, every, th- every time I go in there, there's always some new shit in there, bro. Nah, I haven't been crossing in a minute. I'm going to go to the, I'm gonna go to your uh, NJCU. When y'all play NJCU at home, I'm going to come to that. You gonna go? I, oh, yeah, they won today. They play Montclair Monday. When, I mean, oh, how many other games is there? Is there a game? I don't know if there's a game on Wednesday. I no, they, they play. Tyrone said they play Monday, Wednesday, and then. At home? Yeah. Oh, and shit. Then, and then Saturday. No, I don't know at home. I don't know. Okay, right. My know was one day, one, one Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. I think they play they put TC and J at home. That's so I, that's probably Saturday. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go to the when they play NJCU at home. My cousin plays for NJCU. Who? Um, what's his number? He has dreads. Name is uh, I call him Buddha. Name is Brandon. Brandon, he tall. Man, he taller than me. What school you went to? T net. <laughs> yeah. He's he's younger than you. Yeah. He's a freshman this year. Oh, he plays? Yeah, he laid Tyrone. Oh, he did? <laughs> he laid Tyrone, he laid Tyrone uh, Sunday. I got to see this. How many points did Tyrone have? Let me see. He had like 10, I think. I'm going to look up his stats right now. Hold on. Hold on, people. Live stat looking up, bro. Shout out to my nigga Tyrone. He's definitely not watching this shit, though. And then I'll probably go to, I'll probably go to their senior night. Well, I'm a, you know me. I'm going to be at all them games, bro. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to be in the cut. And you know, I ain't trying to see nobody. I know. I know. <laughs> Tyrone Bowens and Jacob's play. Oh, Tyrone did have 10. Tyron, you're not ass, buddy. Wait, hold on. He had a snatch buck. That was kind of cool. He did? He didn't do it on purpose, but it was a snatch buck. <laughs> he had six rebounds, nigga. Get your boards up. But um, Nigga said he had seven, bro. You lied, he bro. He a lying motherfucker. You lying ass nigga, bro. Nigga said he had seven boards. <laughs> I, got a, I, got, I got one more question before I get to the last topic, bro. So pick one to protect you from the rest. An airbender, a waterbender, a firebender, or earthbender. Which one are you going to pick to protect you from the rest? Mm. I think I'm going to go earth, low-key. I was thinking Earth. I feel like they could just be, make like a big ass shield and just throw niggas. Earth, Earth or air? Ew, I think air is mid. Nah. Really? What? They, all they do is just fly. Yeah, but that's, they could get me. They could, they could like blow me away. They no, just, damn, no homo. <laughs> <laughs> they, could blow, they could blow the niggas away from me, though. I know, but like, what's, what more is that going to do? If I have niggas throwing, I got a nigga throwing straight bullets yeah, at you. Yeah, I know, you right. I might go with Earth. Like, I was, I was thinking fire, but like, you could, you can like. The uh, earthbender, the fire can only defeat like the water. Yes, I'm air. saying. Not even like, the waterbender is gonna defeat the firebender. Eh, so depending, it, uh, we're fire, talking about the best out of each of them. Yeah, but I'm saying like the best waterbender is gonna put out the fire. So him protecting me is not gonna do nothing. He's gonna drown. The waterbender is gonna drown did, me. Did bro. you watch Avatar? A little bit. Now it would be. Oh, you didn't watch it because I remember they fucking. The Fire Nation took over the Water Tribe, but I think because Water Tribe, not that they just like they no. like pacifist niggas. Oh, uh, I'm, talk- just- I'm talking about realistically. Realistically, realistically, <laughs> a water bender is taking out the fire, bro. <laughs> like, let's be honest, bro. But what if it's a big ass flame, bro? It's a, I'm gonna give you with a big ass wave. <laughs> nigga, here, ass- <laughs> so, what is the rankings of these? I think Earth is number one. Earth is number one. Okay. You said air is mid. I don't think air is mid, bro. I feel like air is just too like you could do. Like what is more you can do but just go like I'll push. give I'll, I'll give water number two, and then what fire is last? No, because fire fire and air is a crazy combo. Yeah, but it's just one. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'll give fire and then air. Okay, okay. So damn, air is mid though. <laughs> hey, yeah. is mid, All right, I, you got you want to talk about anything before I, you got anything on your mind before mm-hmm. I go into this one last topic? No, what I what I have in my mind I can't share. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is sick, people. <laughs> 1-800-Corey needs some help, bro. <laughs> Call that number, bro. But the last thing I want to talk about is Urban Legends. So people, comment your uh, comment your state down below if you want some Urban Legends from your state. So you want to guess what state we have? Idaho. Uh, it was close. It was Alaska. No, I don't fuck them close. <laughs> <laughs> it's, in the, it's in that area, like north. Niggas are just random states. <laughs> <laughs> Idaho is a weird guess. Yeah, I just I just assume that he's gonna give me a weird guess. I <laughs> Alaska, Alaska's kind of weird. Nah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, you know, you know, Alaska has a hood. No, not, not to mean get off the topic. There's like a hood in Alaska. Like they'd be bending blocks and Hellcats in the no snow. No way. <laughs> I know. It's, I know it's a town in Alaska where they don't lock doors what? because 
if it, like is is polar bears are that bad in that in that town that if you see a polar bear no you no doors are locked you can just run into somebody's house because oh. if you see a polar bear you got to run are you, you serious can just run into somebody's house to protect yourself <laughs> I just imagine that shit. Yeah, so oh, like nobody locks their doors. That's some scary shit. Just, just, just. I see a polar bear. You gotta run to the nearest house. Like imagine, oh, imagine they walking on some shit. <laughs> imagine you walking at the wrong time. You walk out at the wrong time. It's a polar bear. No, you walk. Oh, you in walk in and they like shit. they fucking or some shit. <laughs> or they like arguing like a like, back, like, mid like, argument. Like, no, it's a polar bear outside. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a polar bear outside. Please, please. Yo, that's funny as hell. Please, please, it's a polar bear outside. I'm begging you. <laughs> but, but the urban legend I have is that. Alaska has its own like Bermuda Triangle type of thing, but they call it the Alaskan Triangle. So it's basically a point. It's it's in between the three big major cities of Alaska. So uh -huh. I think it's like Juneau, Anchorage, and I forgot what the other one is. Yeah. So basically, there's been a sixteen thousand people been lost in that triangle, just like the Bermuda Triangle. Sixteen thousand people been lost and have like never been seen again. Either it's by the air or in the forest. So by the air, I remember, I think it was in 1972, there was a U.S. congressman. Two U.S. congressmen were on like a little small flight. Yeah. And it was flying through like in between Anchorage and Juneau. Mm -hmm. And their plane like went like, like disappeared like out of thin air. Like either, like they couldn't find trace of the plane and they couldn't find the two congressmen. And they think like there's like a vortex or some shit that's like bringing people to different dimensions or something like that. And then there's also... The, the Native Ameri the native people that believe that there's like some creature or some shit like that, that that lures people that are hiking in the woods. Either they're lost in the woods or they're just hiking. They'll lure them to them. They'll like mimic like like humans and shit like that. They'll either change into a human, like shapeshift into a human, or like they'll like make like human noise, like, like help me, help me come here. And they'll lure them deeper into the forest and then they'll kill them. What are you urban legends you be looking up? I don't know where I... Yo. You be bored, bro. I be... But like... But like, think about it, bro. I don't know about that whole shape shifting mm -hmm. shit. But like, think if it's like the the planes disappearing, bro. Like, just imagine them niggas went to like another dimension, but it's like something slightly off, but they don't notice. But we uh -huh. notice because we know they're lost. Yeah. Like, say you go into a dimension where it's like almost exactly the same, but I'm not wearing the same shirt. Uh huh. So, but like they, but you think that you're in this, you're in, a, in the, the same, same dimension, but like we all know you went missing. Yeah. So it's like. Like what the fuck? Like you can't like they can't. A lot of people also think it's like aliens because I remember there's like some Japanese like fire I mean, pipe. There's also yo know, like this world is this this world is too big for us to be the only beings here. Yeah, there's something else out there. So you think them niggas got like they're just like taking niggas and like doing experiments and shit? But I think it's right. Like how come we never hear nobody else, like like how come like nobody you know got taken, bro? Yo, why, we, why, why we don't never hear that, bro? Like, why always got to be some random shit in Alaska? Like, far, far away, yeah, right? Yeah, but why, why not a, re a regular nigga in New York just went missing in the air, bro? Because I think it would be too hot. Too hot, boy? Cause how, how the aliens know what's hot and what's not, though? Because they studying, bro. So you think, like, okay, dude, New York's too big. We can't we can't make shit hot over there. Yeah, I mean, they, a lot of people, there was this one nigga that said that, like, around where you live is, like, pretty hot with shit like that. Like, like people just disappear? Like, no, like, they see, like, UFOs and shit. I mean, I, I'm I mean you seen some shit? I'm there every day, bro. I don't see it, bro. I don't know. They said by like, like North, like North Jersey, shit like that. I don't know. I ain't never seen some shit. I want to. I mean, think I, I would see love shit. to see one. I won't say shit either. You won't say shit? Nope. You won't say it on the pod? Nope. He's gonna think. I tell you. Oh, you tell me? I right, get shit. Good, right, nigga. You, bro. I, I, I say it's anonymous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, yo. If I start saying that shit, that would be one of the things that I'm missing. <laughs> yo, yo, Corey, Corey's been missing for 44 days. <laughs> if I, I, I'm out and I'm the only reason, I'm the only one that knows why. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yep, I'm Darius. I told uh, Darius, bro. That nigga. That nigga's out of here, bro. But yeah, I don't pack know. Pack me up, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, you seen they pass a law in New York? That any like any uh age under twelve, you can't be convicted with a crime other than homicide. Uh, I thought it was seventeen. No, nah, it's twelve, bro. So that does that mean a twelve year old could carry a gun? Yeah. Well, if, if a twelve year old get carry, gets caught carrying with a gun, they're not gonna get no time. So what do they get like? No, probably slap on the wrist. I don't know. <laughs> that, that, all that mean is like, feel me, like niggas is devious, bro. They gonna make they look they they. Yeah, all I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do is shoot a nigga and give him the piece. Oh, I was I was thinking like they was gonna make the kids sell drugs. <laughs> nah, I just give him the piece, bro. And just let him hold that shit. Yeah, <laughs> stash the piece, bro. That's crazy. That's so sad, bro. Cause niggas would really do that shit, bro. I mean, niggas is devious, bro. Yo, keep a twelve year old on you. <laughs> bro, keep a twelve on you. <laughs> keep a twelve. 
Keep it 12 on you, bro. Because a lot of these kids be like freaking. Remember, you know, Booba Savage? The little yeah, nigga uh-huh. that. He was like freaking like eight in the yeah. game, bro. He was talking about all that shit. And he like, he older shit now. He like, yeah. like what? He, I think he's like pushing 13, 14. Keep a nine year old on you, bro. Keep a nine <laughs> on you. But yo, bro, hold the peace, bro. <laughs> he's like, yo, tsh, tsh, tsh. all right, here, hold this shit, bro. Uh huh. That's evil, bro. K flock. <laughs> he ain't getting out. He ain't coming out, bro. No, no he's deep. he's done up. Bro. Niggas know he shot that nigga. There's no way going. There's no going around that shit, bro. Yeah. If anything, he's if anything, if he beat the murder charge, he's not beating the gun charge. He'll get at least five. At least five. At least five. That's at crazy. least minimal. I mean, I was hearing some shit like niggas should like people in the south. They were able to carry guns, but like that's why the the crime is kind of low mm-hmm. because like niggas won't try niggas if they got guns on them. Yeah. But then that also means like niggas could, n- there's more opportunity to spin on niggas. Yeah, <laughs> spin that block, man. But it's like, you won't, a lot of people probably won't get robbed too much because everybody knows they got a gun on uh-huh. them and shit. So I don't know. That's freaking weird. Like, especially like when I was talking about in Alaska, like I think that was, it was like a place where they, Alaska was like one of the only states where like you're allowed to carry guns, like one of the first ones. Oh, for real. Yeah. So like all the niggas got guns. Like, like, the, they, I mean, they might have to. to the polar bears. That's what I'm saying. They got polar bears and shit like that. Hunting guns. I don't know, bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about, brother? No, I don't think so. I, I want to talk about this one thing because this shit happened to me last night. And I don't know what the fuck happened. I was laying in my bed and like I, I be praying before I go to bed and shit. Mm-hmm. And I felt a gust of like cold air just go like whoosh. Yeah, God, God came and answered you, bro. I don't, bro. I looked up and I'm like, is my window open? That shit nah, was closed. I'm like, all right, bro. Because I think there's, I be thinking there's a, there's a ghost in my crib. Did I tell you about yeah, that? Yeah, you told me about the ghost downstairs, bro. And then a couple of days ago, I'm walking out the kitchen. It was late at night. I felt something go like this, like, yo, yeah, like it's like like hold me back a little you bit. Pray, you pray enough, somebody's gonna answer you, bro. I hope it's the right person, bro. Somebody gonna answer. I hope you, it's the bro. right person. But thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number seventy one. Thank you again, my brother, for pulling up. Already, she got happy as hell to hear you to hear the, to hear the outro, bro. Hell yeah, it's like about to be 12th day. Look at she's smiling back there. You got anything you want to say for the people, bro? Yo, join the Discord, bro. I, I be peeping, not enough people is joining. Subscribe to the YouTube, bro. Subscribe to the TikTok. What's wrong with y'all? Buy the apparel before I come at night with a with a with a water holes and put it in your mouth until you stop breathing and shit, bro. I don't want to do that, bro. Like, what is that? Is that like forcefully? That's like a forcefully drowning. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds, you just, it sound crazy, right? You just created a torture method, my nigga. They're going to use that shit. Before I waterboard you, nigga. <laughs> Join the shit, bro. I'm not playing with niggas no more. What do you bro. think, what do you think should say, they should say for the people that, that watch the whole thing? Oh, damn. That was a, I had, yo, it's crazy. I had one at the beginning of the pod. You did? And I don't remember it right now. Um, I was going to say, free. Oh, free Matrix. Free Matrix, go. I think that's bro. what it was. Free Matrix, bro. Free Matrix, bro. Free Matrix, We're going to find her a home. It might be my home. It might be Jay's home. It might be Corey's home. It's not going to be my home. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be. The, not gonna be but I, I, I'll bring him to the, to the animal rehab spot. Wait, do they do checkups there? Checkups? Like, like, she might have, I felt like a lump on like her, like her nipple. Yeah, she'll check her out. How much of that shit? I don't know. You can, you can check for me? I can't check. I get the vet to check for you. What I the fuck? You ask the vet. I can ask the vet. Yeah, yeah ask him. Okay. I can ask the vet. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't check. I can't. I mean, I could check, but I'm not going to. I'm checking for. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this do feel a little crazy. <laughs> feel like fucking lumps on her shit. I'm like, what the nah, fuck? I asked the, I asked the vet. She probably. Right. She probably do it pretty well for me. <laughs> she hope sick. she hope she don't watch this. She probably not. She ain't gonna watch this part. But like yeah, it's I, too far, too deep, and she ain't gonna tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Follow all the socials down below. New merch coming for the new year. New stuff coming. Uh, shout out all our sponsors. I don't got the shit except GLD Shop. Shop for them. I don't even know they my sponsor right no more. I just like the stuff. It's right there. What? Go ahead, say it. Natural Sheila G. Go ahead. Natural Sheila G. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you. Yeah. Man, that shit sounded nasty. It's pretty good. It's good. It's good for your body. That's in my cough sounded nasty. Oh, oh shit. Damn, shit empty. My dad, <laughs> my dad ate all that shit, bro. Oh, see, we be using it though. We using it, yo. It's empty because we Let using it. We need some more. Bro. I don't even know if you watching my pods no more. I don't even know if I'm still sponsored. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anymore. But follow everything, bro. Like I said, we different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangster.